Brothers, Brothers. Hey, we we're happy we're and we're singing and we're, we're coloring. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah. 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 Clap it up, man. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> 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 this nigga like this motherfucker uh, deep today. Uh, I don't want to know it's deep in this bitch. You're, tonight. you're, you're. Look at we buddy. back. So what you saying is the pod bit. Yo, I'm school. Mm-hmm. That's check, Bass. Check, check, That's check. G. Check. We got Caesar. I ain't even catch your name, bro. My fault. I go by C. Craig. C. Craig. C. Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C. Craig and this motherfucker. Hey, yeah, my baby. boy Caesar. This C. Craig and Caesar. We got celebrities in here today, y'all. Do that. Hey, free look, look, we're doing that. Appreciate. Look, look, look at him with that shirt and them glasses. Y'all can't tell. Y'all oh, can't see y'all link. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Hey, hey, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, I commented on my boy Fresh. I commented on the shirt as soon as he sat down. I was like, damn, boy. He said, what? Say, damn, boy, that shirt cool as hell, boy. Come on, now you I look to the right a little bit one more time. I said, that's a Nike shirt, nigga. Come on. <laughs> that bitch like it. supposed to say Calvin he Klein, Prada on that bitch hey, or something. Breathable. You hear me? Breathable. Oh, hey, I want to do a little something for my homie right here because he do it all the time at his shows. And I kind of stole it sometimes on the pod. I don't know if he's seen it or not, but uh, I know he going to catch it. When I say feeling good, y'all say feeling great? Uh, feeling good? Feeling great. Oh, my mama, shout out to my nigga C's in the <laughs> building, <laughs> man. Shout out to my nigga C's in the bro. building, man. Everybody feeling great? Man, I'm feeling fantastic, but I appreciate y'all having us, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, it's sure, been a long sure. time coming. I'm supposed to be on this whole little. And when you a celebrity, yeah, I told y'all we like got that. celebrities. When you a celebrity and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So hold on, let me check so my we role. We appreciate bit. you for you making that time. You making the time for us. us. Come on, bro. <laughs> man, y'all niggas stay away. Y'all stay what far north. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all got that rap money for sure. Yeah, y'all all y'all all the way. Y'all in the birds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, they ain't in the back of the hood. Boy, he ain't telling me that. In the heart of the hood. In the heart of the hood. I'm trying to be quiet, man. We love that. That's it. We trying to be quiet. We trying to stay low. We trying to stay low. Trying to stay low. Mm-hmm. You, know how, you, know how, you know how motherfuckers be. Yeah, buddy. How once, how you get, once you start doing shit and you get hot, it get hot. Nobody want all that. Man, bro, yeah. You can't blow the spot up. You can't Nah. It's shit, a fact. Shit. Man, it what up, though, man? Y'all niggas, know, man. you know what I'm saying? Everybody in this bitch, all mellow and shit. Yeah, y'all cool, y'all yeah, cool yeah. as hell in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You came cool in. My, my man's came in. Look at this cup. Look at this cup. I swear, my hey, man. Nah, and, he, like, and he picked it. He picked that one. I nah, didn't even get it to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I had to get a little chalice. <laughs> 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 yeah, a little talent like, so I can get right. On, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Royal yeah. is a bitch over there with that cup. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, they had, they had the margarita. They, they got, got the medieval time zone. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody never used that bitch. That nigga said that bitch. The first time I didn't even know that bitch used. was in there. No he was, was in the back. Bro, I don't even know how he seen it. He I just opened up the cabinet. He was like, Yeah, let me get this one back here. I'm like, What the fuck he reached out to? Oh, what the nigga is like, Yeah. Come on, God. Let me get that chalice. I'm trying. What the fuck he looking at? What is the chalice? Shape shift in that bitch. Nigga found this hoe in Narnia. Yeah, got there. Reached in that hoe. You hear me? Damn, dog. Yeah, okay. yeah, That's nah, straight for bro. pinky extension, you know that, oh, right? Nah. So every time you take a sip, the pinky needs to be extended. <laughs> sophistication. On, okay, I'm gonna set that down. <laughs> set that yak down. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? Man, what's up? going on? Definitely you appreciate you today, coming, man? though. Y'all got no, some topics? We doing y'all. We gonna do, yeah, we gonna get into y'all that. We gonna get to the little yeah, topics, and then we gonna go to Before we get into the topics, though, I still wanna celebrate. I just mentioned it before. We one year. One year. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Love, love, love. Love. Much love. Much love. You know what I'm saying? Consistency. Yeah. That's hard. So, yeah. what you're saying is. Yeah. Yeah. big for the one year. Oh, we didn't even tell, bro. We're going to have a barbecue for the one year. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're we going we, we gonna to give you all the info. Yeah, I'm, yeah. all I'm just telling had. you now because yeah. I know you. You need a little runway for you know <laughs> red carpet. Lead this day open. This day you can't have it. I'm gonna be, be in there for sure. Y'all have we don't, we don't have a pod today. too. It's gonna be a pod slash barbecue. Oh, that's gonna be a crazy. kickback. John, yeah, yeah, a little, crazy. A little it's kickback, some, like some live shit. So yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, we we'll talk. Brisket will be in attendance. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Ooh, oh, boy. Yeah. Niggas trying to cook something? Y'all can cook brisket? You know how to make brisket? Mm-mm. Yeah, Niggas, I know how to make brisket. I'll make it all damn brisket. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't eat red meat. So, <laughs> he laid around, niggas said, hell. <laughs> don't even look. They know not to look over here. We're going to make a shit. This nigga ain't getting on no grill. I'm not even getting on no grill. I don't know. I don't eat red meat, so I don't even know. I carry charcoal in the bags. You like a vegan? Yeah, I'm a vegan. 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 Yeah, I'm a
No, I'm I'm gonna eat the motherfucking. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. But, no, no, but no. get on that bitch cooking and shit. Nah, bro. Right, nah, okay. bro. My granny was sitting on a right. stool outside, bro, barbecuing. Oh, oh cold. Yeah. Like, bro, I ain't like I ain't I ain't I ain't seen no men barbecue until I got to my other house where I grew up at, and that's when I really you know what I'm saying learned a lot of men shit. He was the yeah. one barbecuing. But other than that, it was my granny and my mama. Like, they, hey, yeah, yeah. I, I know it was going crazy too. Oh, what? Come on, yeah. What? Yeah. What made you give a red meat like that, though? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Uh, just trying to feel better. Mm, I didn't feel shit, that. They say it's heavy. They better? say it's heavy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. After you eat, you just feel so heavy. Mm -hmm. I'm eating that red meat. So. What's I it? I ain't never. I don't be noticing the difference in shit. You ain't never not done that. So That's, what That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You don't eat red meat like that, really. Really. Sure. You do. You eat burgers, That's but you saying. eat That's chicken saying. mostly. You eat chicken mostly in fish. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I eat the fuck out some chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was just talking about that yesterday. Bro, I ate chicken like four days this week. But I will. But it was different, <laughs> different styles, different styles. Yeah, I say you mix it up or what? Yeah, grilled chicken. Okay, you know what I'm okay. saying shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah. ate different styles of chicken. But I will say, like, you, you definitely write your energy yeah. will be because, like, your day to day energy, you know, has a like a total, a total thing. So once you start eating like heavy stuff, that energy is being used to break down that food. So right, that's why exactly. people be in the itis. That's the feeling that's what tired and oh, stuff okay, like that. Okay. All the energy that you okay. have for the day that your body okay. wanted to put out. Was, uh, that boy yeah. trying to break down that, that, that double cheese. That double cheese. <laughs> <laughs> double cheese. Hey, I feel you. Your body like, ooh. That double cheese with bacon? <laughs> 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 hey, come on now. Doubling down, 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 down on this. No, I'm doing that for sure. Well, I see that. Throw the bacon on this. Burger damn near. A burger. Uh, that's that's why you do, yeah, yeah, that's why you start get that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like God, thank you. Man, God. Uh, What's that shit at Wendy's that they got? The burger with the uh, with the, the baconator. Bacon 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 hey, that, that shit all the time. I need that. They got, like, a, they got like they got like four pieces of meat on the uh, no, yeah. Four pieces of meat on the lives. The junior bacon. Yeah, for sure. What's on the dollar menu? In the four for it's on the dollar menu. Let me get that, please. Well, the first I remember going, it was a for all my Chicago, for all my Rosa niggas, for real, for real. To that, that Wendy's that's on 111 Car Street from the YMCA. Mm. Gee, my uncle used to go there and he used to, oh, like, I used to be like, that's my favorite uncle. So anytime that cop move or anytime that basement door open, I'm. Yo, I'm going with you. Are you the coolest thing <laughs> alive? And I'm going with you. And they go to Wendy's and he'll order so much food and pull out like $5, $6. I'd be like, damn, right. you just bought you life, bro. shit and, and me shit. Five dollars? Please tell me you getting that frosty too, bro. What? And it was back then. Frosties, it was a big frosty. frosty was a dollar. Trash. Back then. Now, yeah. No, I'm talking about then. then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This was. Yeah. I was in grammar school still before eighth grade. So this was mm. then. Big frosty was like this a dollar. A dollar. Mm. Don't they got to serve them hoes upside down, don't it? No, that's Dairy Queen. That's Dairy oh, okay, Queen. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still, no, it's still, yeah, yeah. Dairy Queen kind of that's thick. Dairy yeah. yeah. Queen's so going to OD, though. I never, I never even ate it. That they said if they off. don't do that, they're supposed to give it to you for free. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's true. Real shit. Well, but but well, I'm going to go up there and they don't, don't do that hoe. If they don't turn the hoe upside down, that hoe is free. It's a Dairy Queen's item? Nigga, oh, God. What? Nigga. I didn't know. But I can't drive past a Dairy Queen without just like gawking in awe at that hoe, bro. I love I love Dairy Queen, bro. For real, bro. That shit's delicious, bro. I don't you even hear know if we have one so every time, bro, on everything. That's their, that's their single meat, like, like that's their regular. The burger, bro. It's called a belt buster? Called a belt buster. No, okay. I'll, I'll belt get the chicken buster. strips, bro. I'll get Why the chicken strips with the buster? gravy, bro. The Texas so toast is going stupid. That whole bitch, a big ass burger, fries, you get you like a sweet tea or a little coke. I mean, you're going to be up. You're definitely going to sleep after you eat that. Cheesecake. The food is good. When they got the ice cream, the cheesecake with the graham cracker. Yes. Folks. Bro, all right, so I would, I would I've got to, I got to go to Dairy Queen. I never ate here before. Hey, bro, mm. You never ate there? I never. Ate Boy, I'm just like, they got one. I'm glad you said that because I was just about to say Bronx. Y'all like Bronx? I love some Bronx. The food or the ice cream? Both. Both. The Both. Both. I've never been to Bronx. You don't mess with the ice cream? I don't like. I only had ice cream. The the type of Bronx before. No, I don't fuck with that at all. But they got Bronx is not. Ice cream. It's, I custard. mean, it is. I, yeah, it's custard. You don't like custard? I don't like custard, bro. But I just figured that out with the Andes or whatever the fuck, the, the, the shit the, with the- Andes right, uh, right in the colony? I don't know. Well, not in the colony. Yeah, I, know. Andy got Andy one in the colony. I went there the other day and I got some. I'm like, yeah, this ain't for me. 
Really? I tried Crazy. that shit three times. I don't even know what the I difference is. I go there and get a shake all the time. I don't even fuck with shakes, though. You know how some oh, people... Oh, okay. Yeah, you know how I mean, some people be like... Disconnect then. Yeah. That's it's certain frosting on cakes. They be like, I don't even know the difference. Oh, that I yeah, do. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know What's that. the two? Buttercream. Buttercream, whipping. I don't know the difference. I don't... Because I mean, either or, I'm wiping that bitch off. There's one I like. There's one I like and there's one I dislike. The whipping is soft. The whipping is soft. I don't need none of that shit. The whipping is soft. I hate motherfucking whipped cream ice cream. This one. So, so, so y'all, I mean, so y'all got preferences on those. Yes, yes nigga. Really? butter. Yeah, yes. it's one that's like yeah, you, you taste it. You like you, you yeah. make a life decision. She's like, why the fuck a nigga do that? <laughs> that's 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 and, then, and then there's some like you like. <laughs> bro, I, didn't even, I didn't even know whipped cream <laughs> ice cream was. A, a I mean, cake was a thing yeah. until I got to Kansas, bro. When I went to Kansas, that was my yeah, first see, time ever out. having whipped cream on some cake. Crazy. I ate that shit. I said, oh hell no. I never touch another whipped cream cake ever. Bro. Unwhipped, unwhipped yeah. my cake, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm unwhipped my cake, please. Bullshit, that's how I feel too. Bullshit, bro. That shit trash. Yeah. That's I'm shit real shit. Cool. It's crazy because I'm like, I don't know. I I eat cake sparingly. You might like whipped cream, but though. either or, yeah, but, but I like whipped cream. I'm 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 swiping the icing off, bro. What? It's too much. I'm swiping what? the icing off. Yeah, too much. It's too much. All the ice. I mean, like I understand or. being too much ice cream. I'm not yeah. swiping it off though. I mean, um, uh, icing. I'm not swiping it off though. I'm gonna just not eat as as much. I eat under the icing. I ain't gonna lie, be picking something. Wow. See, that's what Why? I'm saying. Yeah, that's, if it's too that's much, like too some serial killer shit. Why would you do that? Oh my god. <laughs> why would you enjoy that cake, nigga? That nigga said he like, picking up oh, under that hole. Yeah, that's it. Saying, why? That nigga said, I got precision, nigga. No. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I mean, eat that damn cake, nigga. So you, so you get the cake and then you just tap it in what? the icing? I ain't gonna lie. I turn to the cake to the side. You know, ice on him. Okay, okay. On my mama, right oh, I'm doing that. Going on my game. On my mama. Crazy. And like, why is the ice crazy. is still standing I up? I swear to God, like an L. <laughs> <laughs> I get that egg <laughs> piece real yeah. quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear to God. Why do man. all niggas go for the end piece? What's that? What is that? I don't know. Even don't with know. pieces. What is the fuck? It's is like that, eating booty. The corner pieces, boy. Whoa. No, no. How whoa, you whoa, make that whoa. make sense? That shit was. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it. Twin, how did, how twin, did how you that do that? <laughs> Break, break that down. Like Elaborate. Well, twin, how does that correlate with what we just saying? <laughs> how does that correlate with what we just saying? Okay, okay, okay. I do not see the correlation. Let me just break this down. Okay. okay. Because you say you find yourself at the end and or at the at the bottom or the butt <laughs> of the bread, okay? okay? And that's where you got to start sometimes. Sometimes you got to start at the booty. At the, twin, you eat the booty bread, don't you? You eat the booty if bread? That's, if that's all I got left. I'm, that's all I'm eating. <laughs> For sure. I'm, I'm not even eating that. I'm not even eating that. It's gonna be the last part. I'm not gonna eat that. That's all I got left. That's what I'm gonna eat. Listen, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I can't sit here. For, hey, listen. <laughs> Them the I last things knew. in the bread. I never eat that shit. If it's one knew. regular piece in the booty bread, I'm shit. Do you eat that shit? It's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. I'm putting that bitch in my own. Bro, stop playing with me. Man, yes. Oh, no, hell no. Never mind. Do you eat crust? Ask the resort. Yeah. If you eat the crust on the bread, why y'all don't y'all don't need the butt of the bread? Nice. It's the same I'm thing. Eating the butt, butt. Wow. Bread. No, look, look, look. I'm eating the butt of the bread. I'm folding that bitch in half. Yes, yes. I'm a this sandwich. Is, this is a factual thing. I'm That's why you ain't you ain't the butt of the bread. That's what I'm saying. I'm grilling. Destruct on this. Destruct on this. I'm oh, folding the last piece. Oh, hey, listen, man, oh, hey, listen. I'm, I'm, damn, I'm damn near moving. I'm damn near taking that first piece of bread, the first piece of booty bread in the front of the thing, and putting it to the side of the bread. So when I do one out of the bread, cause I've been po. I mean, I done been po too, but like, bro, listen. Bro, so bro. I'm eating the booty bread. Bro. Bro. Eat the I'm eating the booty bread. bread. Hey, so, the booty, oh so the booty bread. Oh, what, like, it's just a stack of bread. The booty bread be right here at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. on the you just side. keep scooting that. I keep on scooting that bitch. You gotta say that ho. <laughs> oh, we all we all done the same. Nigga, that's strategy, bro. That's some strategy. That nigga gotta be cold with that shit, bro. That's cold. That boy got skills. Hey, that's years of development. That's years of development, boy. Real shit. We love to see that ho, bro. That's progression. Oh, I just let that bitch drop down and I peel the next one. Fold that bitch right back up. The bread. Put that bitch on the side. Slide that booty bread to the side. Quit. Just slide that right there, boy. That's crazy. I don't know. That nigga's funny as fuck. That make good hot dog buns.
Okay. Uh, listen, yeah. they make good peanut butter. That's right. If you eat, bro, bro, I'm saying, that's, that's bread. If you make, if you it's bread. Eat, listen, listen, y'all, eat, y'all not about to convince me. If you eat hamburger you buns and hot dog buns, that's the same it's thing. The same thing. <laughs> it just, I, it just <laughs> I, I just don't want to pick it first. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, 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 feel me on this. Feel me on this, bro. I used to call it the hood Big Mac. Okay. Check this out. So I get the two regular pieces of bread. You dig? Get the booty bread. I put the hot in the middle. I have have a little ham on the top, ham on the bottom, cheese, miracle whip, some other fixings. So look, you, you might have got me with that because you mashed it. And now it's and now it's a it's it's a sand bam. You know what I'm saying? You a slice the hot in the middle and you active. You might have got me with that. But that's what I'm saying, bro. That you hid that motherfucker. If I see, <laughs> if I see it, said bro, you hid that motherfucker. No, bro. Bro, I'm it's not eating that shit if I see it, bro. It's, like, that's that's, that's funny, bro. Hey, my nigga Scoo said it funny, best. Bro. You eat a hamburger buns and hot dog buns, nigga. That's it's booty bread. <laughs> in, a, in the shape of a hamburger, <laughs> it don't look the same. No, do it. But it's no. booty bread. That's the thing it's just with not me, as bro. Dark. I think it's the presentation. It's I'm a visual thing. nigga. It's the presentation. If, if a lot of shit was given to in me essence, with a blindfold on, you would eat this. I probably would eat it. Pause. Pause. Probably. Pause, pause, yeah, pause. <laughs> Damn, what? Pause. What? I ain't even catch that one. He right. had to sit there in my thoughts, but I'm like, damn, that was wild. Yo, I'm talking about me. Relax. I'm talking about Bo, hey, bro. I told you, margaritas, boy. I told you. It's, it's the damn freaking readers, boy. It's the thing that we have a couple of them hoes start acting up in this hole. Listen, we talking about food, man. Boy, y'all are funny. Why the mar- hell, margaritas bro. going like that? What's going on? Y'all funny. in this hole, bro. Right, bro. What's up, Wait. bro? What's up with y'all, bro? What's the gang? What's what the gang got going on, bro? When we gonna get some crazy shit going, bro? We need to make hey. something happen for real, bro. No, no. like I used to have like yesterday for real. Hey, I'm finna do a listening party sometime soon. Mm. But your last, That's bro, nice. your album yeah, release party was, was crazy. Yeah, you know I'm gonna pull up, bro. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. Same Same shit. Same shit. But that's one thing I love, bro. Just about like the gang in general, bro, because you'll hit the stage and that shit is really like some fucking Wu Tang tribe called Quest type shit. Like all the gang up there, niggas just rocking, niggas know your music and it's mm. like some real love, some some love, like homegrown, you it's know what I'm saying? Like tribal culture old shit, bro. Hip hop mm. shit. It, it's it, niggas is, and, and people not moving like that. Yeah, they got their they, they gang and shit up there, but like it's a different type of love, bro. You can see that just like how y'all move, you know what I'm saying? Like if my boy Saeed, you know what I'm saying? Like just saying how like everybody sure, moves. You know, front end to, 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 to the to the back end to the stage, bro. You know, and like you right, said, it's right. a it's a beautiful thing being connected to y'all, bro. No, really that's how it is. Though looking at you when you be doing your shit, like all the shit that you done did that I seen you do, like from down in in the uh, deep Ellum in that spot yeah, down there. Yeah, mm-hmm. To the shit that we just seen at Snookies. DFW like, pop up to Snookies <laughs> to the living room. It's, it's a lot of we've been, we've been with you since we've been. Mm. Since yeah, you seen us the first way. time when yeah, yeah, first time I met you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we've been tied in since the first time we. Lived. That was at the uh, tap in, the tap, yeah, tap, tap in, in at the living days, room. Man. Hell yeah, shout out to Josh Drake. Bro, yeah, my you. dog, switch alert. Yeah, shout switch out alert, to you, bro. Nigga, that is how we connected, bro. Because I seen, we, like I said, I seen you rap, and I was just like, bro, this nigga is like a lyricist, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just, just crazy, like the amount of talent that is like out here. You know what I'm saying? And that's available, bro. I just think. I really think Dallas is like that next city that's finna, you know what I mean? Like yeah. finna blow. Yeah. Especially yeah, after I'm traveling. Friend. I done went to St. Louis and LA, uh, been doing poetry in different spots and seeing what they got to offer. And I'm just like, bro, we have so much, even like the, not saying lower levels, but even people who aren't as polished, should I say, have so much talent to offer, uh, mm-hmm. you know, compared to like other parts of other the country, bro. Real shit. talk. Yeah, yeah. The okay. tension is that's crazy. Real talk, you, think, you think that's Dallas or you think that's just where everybody coming to in Dallas? I mean, I think it's da- I think it's Dallas in general. I think we have a lot of untapped artists, whether it be R and B, poetry, you know, visual artists, you know, what I mean, rappers. Um, like I think Dallas in general just has a lot to offer, but I just think uh, we don't know how to like correlate, form that coalition to where like we can like we make something happen. Yeah, we push each other and like whoever is really hot, like push them to the push top. You know no, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. It's will, crazy. Oh, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. But I will say like that's why. Uh, I respect uh, what you're doing, Cece, because you actually giving these people, you know, that's probably unpolished or something like that, or yeah. they facts. trying to get out. You giving them a facts. space to and do the platform. it. Polish that shit up. You, you really got to get your flowers in terms of yeah, that, because right. at this point, you know, 
you creating a space to where like people can feel comfortable. You already you dress people like hey, it's all love on the mic. You know, people you address at the very beginning, like, and people take note of that. That's why people gravitate to your energy so much. You know what I'm saying? Oh, real shit though. though. It's real appreciate welcoming, it. you know. People reach out all the time. No, fact, people yeah, reach through me just to get to him. I'm like, yeah, I got you. I slide you. I slide you. You know he'll be a celebrity and shit. I got you. Look at him. Look at him. That my dog. He know what I like. I'm my. No, bro. But we were running it up, though, bro. So like we've had a good run. Thank God has been um very, very, very gracious towards me, man. Like I said, mm -hmm. and I'm um just not being um I'm not trying to be selfish with my gift or with my blessings because I'm understanding of like I'm not the last poet that's going to come through Dallas and make waves. And so trying mm -hmm. to make sure that we're preparing that next generation, just because I had big homies. I had people that really, you know, like Rage Almighty and Wayne Henry and Calvin J, you Show know, uh, Masterpiece. You know, I had a mm -hmm. lot of people who like made sure that they could, you know, make a way for me and make sure I knew what I needed to know so I can like keep doing that, you know, keep opening the doors. It's a lot of gatekeeping, you know, that go on, especially with poetry because it's right. such a, it's a close knit world, you know. No, when you when you go into them type of spaces, well, you know you hear niggas say that shit all the time. Like everything is, but then when you actually go in those spaces and then you start moving, you start in, seeing it. Yeah, really you really see the same motherfuckers all the yeah, time. Yeah. Majority of the time, like especially the people that's really doing some shit, mm -hmm. you always see them. So I'd be like, yeah, that shit really is close knit for, mm -hmm. for real. For nah, real. for real. Like, like once once we touch down in <clears> Dallas, <throat> and then once once Cuz start releasing the music, and then mm -hmm. I start. Jumping in to just to see the scene, it's like like he said, you'll start to see same people, the same ones. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Doing the same right. things. Then certain ones would be kind of clicked up here, doing it together collaboratively or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you got the ones over here doing it. You know what I mean? So if all those can just because like we hear about the 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 rap beast in Chicago, we hear about the mm -hmm. rap beast in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? But for a time, <laughs> Chicago had it. For a time, yeah. Atlanta had it. For a yeah. time, New York had it. For yeah. a time, LA had it. Yeah. But they, it, it took something in that city to push all them artists up, especially Atlanta, because Atlanta right. went crazy. They had a crazy run. Went down, like, they had a went down. crazy run. Oh, he's but like, I, had. They still got no, it. They still got it. No, no they okay. still like they. They don't want us leading it right now. Up. Atlanta yeah, is the yeah, one that's leading yeah. it right now. But I'm saying like every city, like when the drill came out, that's when y'all got the Dirks and the Chiefs and the and the, and the King Louis yeah, and all a, them a bunch of niggas pop right at that time. You know, it popped at the same time. Everybody's pulling from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, now it, Atlanta got it so in the motherfucking chokehold that niggas still is coming from up from that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. But, but like, niggas ain't even from Atlanta going to Atlanta. Go to Atlanta mm -hmm. and then yeah, go up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, I think, like, sometimes it got a, it got a shift. And when, and when you say, because a lot, I see a lot of people gravitating to, like, if Mo3 was still alive, rest in rest, 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 peace of the man, dead, you know what I'm saying? Three, but yeah. if, if, if 3 was still alive and then him doing it, and then I think that would have pulled, uh, what's the other nigga from the South? The brown skin nigga. Oh, yellow beezy. Yeah. No, nah, not yellow beezy. Not not the yellow nigga. The brown skin trap boy. Uh, trap boy Freddy. Yeah. I think if Mo, trap even though Freddy. even with the beefs going on in Dallas, because there's a lot of shit I don't know about the beef with them, but yeah. I feel like if one with a blue, which would have been Mo, because we didn't play Mo three in Chicago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know a lot of Mo three that I never heard of, so I came down. Then I got put on, mm -hmm. but then um like while well, I've been here three years later, then I go back to the crib. Now I'm here in Mo three on ninety two point three, one hundred seven point in yep. Chicago. I'm like, damn, what the hell? Yeah. They're not even playing them. But now they playing them since I moved down here. So I'm just saying, like, if he would could have stayed alive, because he was the one, I say, probably the one for y'all in, in the Dallas region yeah, to yeah, take yeah, it yeah. off, yeah. and everybody Somebody be like, All right, I'm gonna ride that coat to who? X. Oh yeah. No, oh, yeah. ain't no, no. Big X to plug it. He's plug. doing it exactly how mm -hmm. a nigga from Dallas who's trying to go on, you know, should be doing it, bro. Mm -hmm. He's already locked in with like a bunch of big wigs, bro. Done it independently, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And putting out a bunch of singles. Now he finna get ready to drop his album. He finna get ready to sign, you know, and just moving the right way, bro. And has a good team behind him, you know what I'm Which saying? You know, shout out to my dog sure. DJ Bubba, mm -hmm. one of the homies. Uh, DJ Bubba is his DJ, so you know what I'm saying. Whenever he be out, they doing this thing. Like he has like a machine behind him, but he works. Though, no, too. Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? Though, he yeah. found his niche, you know what I'm saying? Getting like the old school beats and like yeah. flipping them hoes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And like shit, he, you know, he he, he just, he's very catchy, bro. Even like 
Four right. Bats, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know too much <laughs> about Four Bats before he, like, kind of started blowing up on, like, Say Cheese and Dallas Global and things mm-hmm. like that. And, but you see now he in there with Kanye and shit. You like, from Dallas, too? Yeah, mm-hmm. Four Bats yeah. from yeah. Dallas. Oh, shit. I yeah, know. no mm-hmm. cap. Yeah, no cap from the D. So, like, like Dallas is really finna be that big city that people's looking that's to. What yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I was getting yeah, to. Yeah. That's what I was getting to. That's what I was getting to. I think yeah. that the, I think what you were saying earlier is going to happen soon. You know what I'm saying? It's really gonna happen soon. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. We in a renaissance, bro. I mean, we have so many like visual artists, bro, and uh, you know, painters. We got Ponchavelli, who's a two time Emmy Emmy winning, uh, you know, like street artist, bro. We got Jess Garland. It's like a you know, she plays like the harp and she plays the guitar and she sings, bro. Uh, Jamaica King. It's so many people from Dallas that Mm. are doing like international work, bro. Mm. You know, and that are doing really, really dope work here in the city, man. So, and I'm just I'm just grateful, like with the poetry. Uh, it's something that I say is it's all encompassing. It's everywhere, you know. It's in our photography. It's in our dance. It's in our music. It's it's in everything that we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And so I've been able to be in a lot of different rooms and just seeing the talent, of, you know, that we're dealing with, man. Like we're really gonna go up, but it's gonna take like people actually being locked in. Like, we don't have no, we don't got no camaraderie in the city, you know. Well, we we getting better. I ain't gonna say that we getting better with the camaraderie, but we need more of it, though. You know. I, I was just watching an interview with the big homie. Um, Dang, his, right while you were speaking, his name was on my brain, but I can't think of it now. But he used to ride with NWA. DLC? DLC. He yeah. had, he recently had said he moved back to Dallas, moved mm-hmm. back to his hometown to just Oh, yeah, sure I saw that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. To make sure he curate all the young people here because he was saying the same thing. There's a lot of dope talent here. And everybody thought he was a Cali nigga when he was like, no, nah, yeah, I'm Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a Dallas <laughs> nigga. I'm rapping like this. I'm a like Dallas <laughs> nigga, bro. Like, yeah, for real. And so he like, I'm bringing like, it's more, he's, he was saying there's more talent like that here that people don't know about because Dallas ain't got it yet. But he, and he was saying the same thing. And I wish someone that we going to tap in with you, DLC. Remember this. Uh, shout out to you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the doctor. Right? He's supposed to be doing a podcast too, right? He, yeah, he's going to do a podcast. And he all it's all stationed here in Dallas. I'm going right. to find where it's yeah. at. Trust me, I'm going to find you, bro. I'm going to find you, bro. I'm going to find you because we're going to tap in. We're going to lock in. All that help you're doing with the, with the all the acres of land you bought and you say you're going to help the kids, I'm going to find you because I'm going to help you help okay. the kids, bro. For real, for real. To my mama. My mama. But not to tap over that but he keep on saying it so we're gonna get into that real quick what yeah, made you well, get well, into well, the poetry yeah. and since you just he's a phenomenal poet y'all he got books yeah, he got, he got no Emmy nominated Emmy nominated oh, bro shit, like we man. can keep on going bro like he, yeah, he's let being me humble speak. bro like, <laughs> let you know, me speak like, he going crazy I was and I, I was, was you know what I'm saying man. I had to make sure I, hey one time I had to make sure I had my girl with me I was like damn if I had my <laughs> I knew I came by myself. I'm like, bro, if I had my girl with me right now, oh, bro, like, and he was hey, saying that, oh no, nah, I had to look at her. Freaky, I had to look at her face to see how she looking at him. Cause I, hey, boy, I'm getting, the, I'm getting the warmed up. <laughs> hey, we about to get, no, nah, not for me. I'm cause she, you don't want to say, hey, we about to leave. Cause I know this nigga see about to go on. <laughs> that's, that's the type of time I want. Cause you not about yeah. to know. Listen, bro, but no, nah, how did you get into poetry? How did you get into spoken word? Like, how did that, how did that Man. gravitate to your spirit to make you want to chase it? Like, follow that dream of yours. Man, um, I've always had like the, uh, the gift of gab. My great grandma used to always say that. Um, I always have a lot to say. You mm-hmm. dig? And then uh, when I got out of college, I found myself. I played college football. That's so, um, where I met. You know, some of my best friends, see Craig and everything. N- niggas like, athletes in you here. Know what I'm you know what I'm yeah, talking about niggas, real life athletes. And, you know? and it's like one thing that hits you whenever you graduate. You go from having an itinerary, having like 150 brothers around you. You know, having you know breakfast, lunch, dinner figured out, and you know you had your dorm and your apartment and your you know your, your little. Your check and day. everything you get, you know, have everything laid out to like, okay, here's your car, here's your apartment, here's your job, go. And I was so lost in the world, bro. Um, mm-hmm. For like the first year and a half, two years after I graduated, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I'm like working at State Farm, I'm trying to teach, I'm doing this and that, and like I'm finding uh, some happiness, you know, but I'm not, there's no fulfillment, you right, know, there's no longevity right. in what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. It's all the end shit. Like I fell into like a deep depression. So I just started writing every day and I wrote every day for about a year. And um, well, I started painting first because I was a painter, bro. So like, oh, I, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was painting, but my paintings weren't good. Like, they was, they was, I, I, they were, they was cool, but it wasn't nothing I would put out there. But like, then I started wanting to write about my paintings, right? Mm-hmm. And then I just wrote a poem every day for like a year, a year and a half. Every day. Kind of yeah, shit. every single day, bro. I got like journals and journals, bro, like at the crib. And um, I used to call my cousin and I always spit to him. And I'd be like, I'm spitting to him on the phone and shit. And he like, 
Nigga, I don't want to hear this. Like, you, need, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like, you need to go somewhere and share your work. So I went and did an open mm -hmm. mic. Shout out to Black Canvas. That's where I got my start. Dallas Black hey, Canvas, man. Black they Canvas. are Shout one of the Black longest Canvas. going uh, open mics in Dallas, man. And they still giving poets and artists mm -hmm. and bands mm -hmm. and musicians and comics, everybody a voice. They don't turn away mm -hmm. any sort of talent. So I'm very grateful yes. for them, you know. But um, but yeah, bro, I just started spitting. And, they, and people feel like I had something they wanted to hear. And uh, just like in football, I, you know, I was... Very competitive, so I found a mentor. I found who was the the best poet in the city. You know what I'm saying? And like made made him my mentor. I found you know where where the best poets are performing. That's the only place I'm gonna be at. You know, and then shit, everything just began to turn over as I like you know as I as I evolved and the journey evolved. You know. Mm -hmm. So so the poetry love came late. late in life. Yeah, bro. Um, I was not late because you're still a young man right now. Yeah, but after college, that's when it came. It wasn't a childhood. Yeah, it nah, wasn't a childhood. Thing. So, so I actually wrote my first poem whenever I was 14. I used to write in high school. So let oh, me not. Man. So let me not oh, fast okay. forward. Okay. Wrote my first poem. When I was 14. I got arrested for something that was very, very stupid. Got my record clean and everything like that. So I'll never go back to it. But um, got into some trouble when I was young. And I remember I had a big ass white dresser. And, and you know, after me getting into trouble, my parents put me on restriction for like a, like nine months. AKA punishment. punishment Punishment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we say restriction in the in the black household, so yeah, but punishment and uh shit, but I had a Sharpie and I had a big ass white dresser and I wrote just all the way to down down the side of that joint, bro. Damn. And then um I still have that dresser today, and that was my first poem. And I used to write poem in high school for like shorties and things like that. I'll put like little flowers mm -hmm. and on the page and like write poems around them things notes. and shit. Like, that nigga, you know, crazy. I used to be OD in high school, no cap. You know? Would you, would you fold yeah. them too? Yeah, nah, too? I, I fold them up, you know, said for your eyes too. only. Yeah. Had a little design <laughs> on no, front yeah, of them. You gotta put a little smiley face on the corner yeah. certain way, boy. You hear me? Yeah, they just over there. You that little edge. I hold this, uh, fall apart. Hey, nigga. So no back cat, to my guy, yeah, this old shoe. I used to spray my motherfucking notes with my, my cologne. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. an actor. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> like that. Nah, <laughs> I used to go Not the cologne, not her. Oh, you yeah. a little whiff of that. Oh, bitch, <laughs> that smell good. Smell yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Boy, go to sleep. Bro, what? My yeah, pillow smell like you, babe. I know. I know. I know. It's crazy. That's it. Hey, that's I real know shit it's though. Crazy. I'm already <laughs> doing it. Bro, crazy. I did that on purpose. No cap. Yeah, Old shoebox. Yeah, but that's where I found me, bro. Like I said, um, and then when I got to college, playing football was such a job that like I didn't really get to focus on writing Nothing anymore. Else. So I stepped mm. away from it. So whenever <laughs> I graduated, you know, it uh it, it found its way back to me and I'm very mm. grateful. That's why I say poetry saved me. That's my slogan. Like poetry saved me because it found me at a time when I literally wanted to remove myself from here and I just wrote myself out of a depression. And that's mm. why I tell people shit. Like, I don't care if you wanna do table tennis, luge, if you wanna do hair, eyebrows, write poetry, if paint, like bring you do do it, bro. Do you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause you're gonna cause you'll you'll be so mad wondering, like, damn, like what if I'd have did this? What if I'd have did that? Just do it, you know? And if you don't do well at you it, then, then it, like do it. something yeah. else, but just try, bro. Cause that's what yeah, bro. You you'd be surprised where where God be. will take you, bro. Twice, twice, twice in your life, you know, you during me? hard times. Yeah, that's mm. crazy. You know what I'm he saying? wrote a whole poor on a whole drug. <laughs> he might got bigger than this was. Yeah, I got in trouble. Yeah, for no. one, I'm about to say what your mama say when one, you started. I'm about to say for one, you know you gonna get your ass beat once you see this whole damn poem on his dresser. Like you, you, you but you write on my. I bought this. You write on this. Yeah, so I know I'm gonna get my ass to, but I'm like, fuck it. I got bro, what? But no, but my mama was so petty. You know, I got a black mama for sure because I wrote a poem and then one day I went out, I was having to clean up or something. By the time I got back to my room, she had wrote a rebuttal poem <laughs> to that hoe oh, on the dresser. Like, so let me tell you, son. And she wrote, and that hoe was cold too. I was like, I bet, I cool. So you so, say you yeah. still got that dresser, right? I still have that. So you still, still be reading your mom poem too? Yeah, I, I read that poem. I read <laughs> He's laughing that like, wow, you a wild. Yeah, no, nah, like, that's very petty, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciated the love, man. Like, like I said, you know, she thought Enough of me to she look. She could have did yeah. worse. She could have did worse. She could have yeah. threw the dress out. You know, know what I'm saying? Painted, Painted yeah. over it. Oh, okay. Mama, she kept <laughs> it. She said, I got, she I got some his little black ass. That motherfucking dress is gonna be worth some. Yeah, yeah. That shit gonna be in a museum soon. No, you hear me? 
No, nah, hey, actually, that dresser, I don't know if I can release the hoe because, like, in high school, my, 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 my crib used to be, like, the spot. So then, er, like, all the shorties, sign. everybody used to come over, everybody would sign the hoe. So I got, like, three, four hundred signatures on the hoe now. So, like, oh, oh, I got you come through there, it's not the hoe kind of legendary now. I got to yeah. sign a dress up. Bro. Yeah, no, nah, I might bring that to the shows or something. We might bring that back. Nigga, you, know? <laughs> you got to sign a dress up. That shit kind of cool. Shit. Yeah, yeah, real shit? Sure. Nah, real, real shit. So, so after college, once you dived in, and then, so what made you get into, like, the curating and the hosting and, and like just reaching out to others man so uh shout out to my dog d black uh used to be my roommate so we ended up getting an apartment and uh, while i was getting deeper into my poetry journey and just going out doing uh, different shows and stuff we started we collectively started what was called spitfire so mm-hmm. we used to have once a month in our living room but we have about 30 people bro come over we have wine people have little charcuterie boards and everything and beer whatever they want to bring whatever smoking they, yeah. and then we just be singing and doing poetry and have musicians over right in our living room and like it got to the point where Y'all people couldn't want have any living room no more. yeah we couldn't have in our <laughs> living room no more so we had to find a space to really go out and curate it and um god just really uh brought the right people into my life shout out dirt beats because he's one of my mentors that beats. yeah that helped me to get onto the hosting scene and put me in connection with pop-up dfw mm-hmm. yeah i was about to say you that's know what I'm saying? ellie and all them yeah yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah because yeah, he does uh uh uh, Dallas, Texas, unplugged. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So he plays a musical alchemist, man. He's one of the big homies. Showed me a lot of love. Still shows me love, man. Um, but yeah, like really gave me a lot of direction, and I started just curating the space, man. Telling people if you want to come out and just good relationships, bro. That's one thing. Like no matter what capacity of business you're in, if you do, if you if people buy from people that they like and people that they trust, bro. If you build good relationships, people will want to support you, bro. And I think that I'm just. So thankful for people wanting to support what I've for been sure. doing, bro. And that's where I found a lot of favor, sure. you know. Didn't you have it on Wednesday nights at uh every we used to do it See, every I, Wednesday? Come on, we man, I'm plugged Wednesday. in. I was there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, we did it for two I was years there, bro. Every Wednesday, in, yeah, bro. I was there. Mm-hmm. I, just, brought, I brought him there. No cap. Yeah, I remember whenever I met D Bass. Yo, okay, y'all pulled up. And these bass came up there, and I'm like, we ain't even have space. And I'm talking about how oh, these niggas crashed the stage. You know what I'm saying? And he was just re- just going in, bro. Like I said, and it was just it's just amazing, bro. Like I said, just the people I've been able to connect with and the artists, and just seeing what they into. Because a lot of people, I'm very fortunate. I'm a full time artist. I've been doing poetry full time for like three years going into my fourth year now you know and but like just seeing people like having day jobs and like having to make space for their art and seeing how intentional um they are about their art you know really motivates me to want to do more so i can like open up more you know more space yeah that wall right there is literally. Yeah, that's the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the wall. That purple you light. You that purple yeah, light. I see right? that purple light. I know, I know you're going to pop up DFW. Come bro. on, man. Yeah, no Come cap. on, man. We be outside. Yeah, for real. We used to be lit in there, bro. Yeah, so, yeah, so we got some new spaces and everything, bro. But I had to take a break. Um, it just became too much, you know, mm-hmm. like curating every uh, weekend, a week out, and dealing with different personalities and still trying to like live and do my own thing and like write and create you know it was just a lot bro uh so i had you know kind of found myself like falling back into you know like receding from uh from wanting to curate and things you know what would you do in that in that without that in that space uh just getting back to my foundation bro you know um getting back you to been working out and shit yeah, bro, I've been back working out, bro. I'm um I'm back like two, three months strong, bro. Um, I done dropped twenty pounds, so I feel great, bro. Uh, shout out to my twin, shout out to my dog KB, uh, C Punk, all my friends who uh, who are, who already work out, and these are my close my close community, and so I'm just like. Looking at myself, you know, I'm doing more commercials and stuff. I'm like, you can't be on TV looking. <laughs> nigga, you, nigga, nigga, you look like you melting, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, way. yeah. Pick it up <laughs> over the belt line, nigga. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Like, and you just feel better, bro. You know, so I found myself back in the gym, bro. And um, and yeah, but like I said, it's getting back to the foundation of what I was doing that made me hungry, bro. Like writing mm-hmm. and practicing and calling my mentor, checking in on my friends, and just doing the small things. And so, like, you do the small things, right? The big things, you know, just come come easy. I ain't well, I'm looking. I be. I'm on my workout shit too. Come on, bro. So you doing your workouts, nigga? Then you got the. <laughs> Hey, bro. Mm-hmm. I said, ain't no way this nigga sees you about to outdo me. I'm in there doing what you do. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the yeah. crib doing what you do. You ain't even bro. know, though. It ain't oh, super motivation. I've seen you the whole time. I mean, keep uh, posting. Bro. Keep posting, dude. Keep posting because you motivating Real somebody. Shit. Not only this nigga, Real but somebody talk. else. Love, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to wonder what you was training for, what you be doing in there, man. I was like, I wonder what the fuck you doing in this He got a movie coming up. He's doing burpees. He's on a burpee. He got that hit his knee. Action. Right. Bro, you got to stay ready, bro. 
gotta stay ready, fam. But this yeah. movement, bro, like I be yeah. looking at a lot of, I study a lot of different artists and actors and things like that, bro. And just movement, man. You know, making sure that you reinvesting because we get one car. You get one car for like hopefully eighty five to ninety years, perfectly, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so it's like what you doing with that car, what you putting into that car, like. It's, it's gonna it's gonna pay dividend, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause you see a lot of people still driving classics from the '60s, shit, right. '70s. You know what I'm saying? They take and they, care and of they, they take care of it, bro. And that's and that's what we are as individuals, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Trying yeah. to just like find that longevity, bro. And this helped me out it with my poetry too. I was bro. just gonna say that. I'm sure it yeah. helped you with mm-hmm. your speech. You know, help me that because like I, sure. I do my poems while I'm working out and things yeah. like that, and then just helps me with my my wind on stage exactly. and shit. And mm-hmm. then I just feel better. I feel like I, you know, like you know, if you look good, you play good. And like I feel mm-hmm. like okay, I'm looking good on stage so mm-hmm. I know I can I'm go up here and say crazy. I can say yeah, what yeah, the fuck yeah. ever and they gonna love that shit <laughs> right. you know what I mean cause nigga yeah, look bro. good cause nigga look good bro <laughs> like, hey, real shit it? bro that shit sells sex sells bro in the real way bro we in that business you know <laughs> look at bro why the fuck is <laughs> you looking at me no cap no, yeah. <laughs> no I, it's not <laughs> she want that day the best hey she can't be up she can't be up there rapping in the motherfucking it was straight to you by the way fucking niggas looking at me I can't go too far shout out to my nigga Mac, but I go go. Hey, hey man, no, no, man listen, no detail, listen. Dude. You said you, <laughs> you we talked the same about, nigga. That's my brother. Exactly. You talked about all that on the fishing reel, being on TV and yeah, shit like that. Did you him. see shit like that for you when you started this poetry shit? Man, honestly, that's one thing that I've always told myself is that I'll be a household name, and I even before. I got into poetry whenever I was still had NFL aspirations and things. I used to always say that like I will be a household name one way or the other. You know, already and, speaking. Uh, it. And yeah, and, and just feeling that that's something my mom just spoken to me when I was younger, bro. Cause it's crazy. I used to be short, fat. I was bald headed, had sideburns, and I stuttered. So like. I, it was real bad, bro. No cap. Like, why, why, you like, why you laughing? Why you laughing? Why you laughing? Hey, it's fucked up. Swear, why, wait, you had to. You I had to laugh. I'm just fucking with y'all. Just fucking with y'all. You had to ball head. Like, nah, bro. Yeah. You gotta realize my dad would like cut my hair bald, and hey. I would just have fucking these thick ass sides. Why was he calling you bald? Perfect. You had a ball, or did oh, so you have like was, the Caesar? No, like bald. Your name is like bald. You hear me? Like bald. And I just had sideburns, and I had a terrible stutter. So like, why, bro? Did you like that? But I don't know, bro. Maybe he wanted to build. He wanted to build some character. He built some character. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, bro. Like I used to tell you, yeah. So bald with the sideburns. That was the bald. I ain't laughing at top dog. Didn't do that. Nah, he nah he did he did actually that shit was actually kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my mom reflected. You see it every day. My mom was. Oh, he he said none of that. None of y'all say it. That, that shit was. Oh, no, he's uh, hey, don't go home and talk to him, man. Don't. Bro, no, no, for real. That shit all was that shit crazy. All that shit add into like the artist, bro, and yeah. like the creativity and having mm-hmm. to go back to those spaces so that I can be more conscious of mm-hmm. like right. uh, of what I you know what I possess now and uh, the power and the strength and just the. The presence, you know, mm-hmm. just because everything is just different, bro. Going into a space, people like feel that they feel your energy. You know, mm-hmm. we as black men, we have to know how to take over spaces and come into spaces. You know, make, sure. make people feel, feel that energy. energy. Yeah. yeah, feel that shit, bro. For real, for real. For sure, for real. Yeah, bro. I will, I will say, like, when you do, like, you know, spit your poetry and something, we go to a particular place. Like, the crowd will be listening. You know what I'm saying? They're listening to your words or how you yeah. pronounce it. Just how you. Of verbalizing just just by your action, you know, people be loving that. They be eating up. I ain't gonna lie, I be finding myself captivated. Like, what that boy say? No, <laughs> like like dead ass. Like when we was I'm at the like, AO, when we was at AOD, like it was people up there performing. No disrespect, people that performing, but and, I, and it's probably because I'm biased. I knew you, but when I when they was like black seeds to the stage, I'm instantly. Man. It, was, it was an instant like, oh my nigga on stage, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Pause, yeah. like, but it was like we got to pay attention now, yeah. and then I seen you. A quadrillion times prior to that, and my favorite one is still hours and hours still. Uh, yeah, and I low key, I low key want you to get the people a little bit of that sauce, but we gonna get there. Yeah, we'll get but uh, I want to talk about your book though too, as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Talk to talk to the people about that. Book. And where can they find it at? Yeah, so both of my books of poetry are located on Amazon. Um, Go I, get my, it. My recent book I just released is As Tensions Rise. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a poetic thriller, and uh, my a first poetic book thriller. is I like uh, that. titled Lend Me Your Ears. Lend Me your ears and so both of these are full books of poetry as tensions rise has 80 poems in it um talking about god love politics um what it means to be a black man in america what it means to be a a black man that has lost love and has found love and um shit you know just really just finding yourself and so i'm really grateful for 
the space that the book is like presented, you know, and being able to put out a second book, you know, because mm-hmm. like I said, there's mm-hmm. not a lot of niggas like where we come from. Like, so I'm born in Jackson, mm-hmm. Mississippi, raised, you know, raised in Garland, yeah, you know, you raised so. in Garland, Dallas, uh-huh. Dallas, Texas, bro. And like, I don't know too many cats that's authors, bro. And like, uh, not even throwing that shit around, but I'm just grateful that I can, that I can contribute something to the world, bro. Like, leave mm-hmm. something, bro. You know, a piece of me. I you are the first from black Jackson. male that I know with a book. <laughs> that's love, bro. Like, I know, dead that's ass. Love, so it's bro. like, damn. Like damn, like you make it possible for other other little people or other little guys or any uh, grown man who yeah. ain't got no who probably want to do something like that. Like damn, he did it. I can go do it. I can go exactly. do it. Bro. You know what I'm saying? It's tangible. You an example. It's yeah. tangible. Yeah, it, it, you see it, and you know what I'm saying that's crazy. And even with poetry, just by itself, even outside of other, that's still another something else that you're showing. Bro, yeah. Like kids do. That's not something that. Bro, talk you see that, people that vulnerability, do. No, bro. not at all. Yeah. Not too many black artists that's like you, that you can touch and be like, I know him. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But he got a book out. You know what I mean? So that's 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 man. No, we're talking about that nigga Dion say, I ain't hard to find now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can find me any 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 time of the month, baby. That's I'll be dope. I'll be at the spot and I'll be with the shit too, man. Like that's one thing because we we building a community, bro. And that's one thing like I love like just seeing like what poetry has done. That's why like mm-hmm. I give poetry so much love and I give it the attention I give it because it's like, it has brought me, it has allowed me to like live a life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I be, I tell myself, I'm like a poetic rock star. I can like, although I work hard, like I can wake up when I want to wake up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like being able to work with like corporations mm-hmm. and schools. Like I teach mm-hmm. poetry, you know what I mean? Like I have, I've created a curriculum, you know? So, out of, out of yeah, this art. Yeah, I work with the South Dallas Cultural Center, DISD, Garland ISD, like I've been able to do a lot and it's all from the power of the pen, bro. And like being able to be a vulnerable black <clears throat> man, bro, is is something that, that we have not always been privileged to, bro. And That's a fact. Like, we're in a new age, bro, regardless of if, if it's uh, what they say, sassy or whatever, the, whatever. It is, bro. <laughs> you know, like for real, speak, speak, speak your truth, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I said, yeah. if you don't speak it, ain't nobody gonna address it but you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody in your brain but you. Yeah, cause cause you used to fall. You know what I'm saying, your mama, auntie, granny, boy, get up, don't cry. Come on, you know what I'm saying, mm. no, it hurt. <laughs> that shit hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, this shit burn like a motherfucker. Yeah, they burn. Yeah, help, help me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Shut up, bro. For real, bro. You, you said, bro, you said, said you uh, uh, tried <laughs> yeah. to cry, bro. Yeah, bro, don't be you afraid to cry, cry bro. Like, you could not cry. That's crazy though. What you you about said you're full time, so I wanted to ask you, like, what, what was some talk about some of the opportunities that being a poet brought you. Man, um, and so I've been very fortunate. Um, I was given a um, a proclamation by the mayor of Dallas, uh, uh, Mayor Eric Johnson, I gave a proclamation okay. for my work that I've done in the city. And mm-hmm. so, like I said, we started a nonprofit. I've um, published over uh, 30 youth authors, um, given oh, wow. uh, like 5,000 mm-hmm. hours of, uh, uh, of, of work, Go crazy. Of, like my poetry work and like curriculum building uh, to DISD. Um, I've helped to form a um like a poetry uh like a poetry te- a, a coalition of poetry teaching artists with the nonprofit big thought the big mm-hmm. thoughts a big time nonprofit that uh, the big city of dallas man you know so being able to be a trailblazer um work with the dallas cowboys the texas rangers mm-hmm. um i've putting out my ep you know and um i work with uh toyota i was about to open up oh, raheem devon last year bro this ep you asked him what happened he, he went on a whole <laughs> list of shit yeah, 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 i yeah, wanted to hear that that's fucking celebrity hey this nigga slid over the ep though where can we find the ep i know where it's at where can they find the ep at EP is well, called drunk. A Moment in Poetry. It is available mm-hmm. on Spotify, Apple Music, mm-hmm. YouTube. I'm working on my my debut album because you know now, um, thanks to J. Ivy, uh, spoken word is a uh, is a category for the Grammys. Oh yeah, yeah. And so I'm gonna submit mm-hmm. my I'm gonna submit my album this year, and prayerfully God finds me fit enough to uh, you know at least be considered you know for that Grammy. And so I'm gonna be releasing that like mid summer. It's gonna be called The Emotion Saga. Mm. Uh, it's the name mm. of my album so I got some shout out to Shane Haley that's my my executive producer we built all the beats from scratch man and um, it's gonna be amazing bro oh, like damn yeah we're gonna yeah, take you on the journey we got some motherfucking shit in the pot yeah, yeah, we got, yeah we got some shit bro like man, I said he keeps trying to it's say everywhere. he ain't no fucking celebrity. fucking celebrity <laughs> <laughs> this nigga he about to be on the Grammys next time <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's going on bro we got him here on the couch first though Sit before down. you niggas got it we got him here on the couch first my nigga say he humble man man listen bro all that shit is dope though all that shit is fire even getting all of that that's shit very off 
like I just said, all getting all that shit off poetry. That's not something that black growing up we don't nah, see that. That's not a thought man. in our head. Like, oh, I'm gonna be a poet. I can be a hell yeah. yeah. I'm trying so, to hope. Yeah. No So seeing that, yeah, you, that's big. You bro. getting that's all big. the shit that people want. That's big yeah. from yeah. doing all this other shit, like hooping and all that. You yeah. getting that shit yeah, and doing it from what you love to do. You really most importantly from what you love to do, like. Like you said, I wake up when I want to wake up, all mm-hmm. because you followed and you chased what you fell in love with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's 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 what every, like he said. Everybody wants to do that. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to do what they do, fall in love. You know what I'm saying? Like and you did it, and you're not did it. You're doing that shit, yeah. and it's bringing you back the blessings tenfold. Even though you had to take the break, you know what I'm saying? You had to get you know, get shit right. Yeah. Life happened. Life be life. Life do be life. Life bro. be life all you know, the time. You know what I'm saying? So, but then you. It brought you right back to it though. Yeah. Like the pen brought you right back to where you needed to be and yeah. on a greater level at this time. I yeah. what I'm hearing. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. I love how um you transcended what uh what you can do with poetry though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like being on TV, working with commercials, working with mm-hmm. AT&T, like you really like set the bar of like, like what you can actually yeah. do with exactly. poetry, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You, like, you, you don't have to just hoop and, and yeah. be an actor yeah. and doing all yeah. this to get I on TV. I can the same scenes you touch yeah. 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 You yeah. 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 You yeah. 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 hours and hours. Like hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going crazy. That's a fact. That's my favorite one. I'm gonna keep on going back to that bit because I was looking around the room. I said, "Oh yeah, hey boy, you had them in there freaky. He had them in there freaky. (laughs) First time you did that, bro. If y'all ever seen the Fire Heart Beats, right? And y'all ever seen that scene? Y'all ever seen that scene when uh, my boy Eddie Kane Jr. was singing to old boy girl, and she was in the chair pause. Let me say this first. He's in the chip. Yeah, that was them. That was them chicks when that nigga C was doing hours and hours, bro. I was like, "What? Hey, I'm never bringing. Yeah. Nope, I'm not bringing. Nah, bro. Cause you ain't about to have. I'm looking dead at her, waiting on a scrunch, spicing the way. Waiting on a waiting on a scrunch. One time, I'm gonna be like, Nah, but you for the streets. Let's go. Let's you go. You for the streets. Bro. Nah, we ain't going nowhere. Oh, you you staying there? I will see you later. <laughs> you for the streets? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, dead ass. But nah, it's and I'm saying this about a poem that I heard, and it's like, damn. Yeah. That's this what nigga really ego. can speak you out your motherfucking clothes. Pop, yeah. like, well, That's what ego pause. did for me. Like I was like, yeah. damn, bro. Like yeah. I be telling God, thank mm-hmm. you. You wasn't. You didn't bless me. No, you couldn't sing, Boy. couldn't play an instrument, well, or can't do poetry. Because I would be. I'd be singing right now. Y'all think I'm? Yeah, hey, boy. Right. I wouldn't even talk to him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every, yeah. I wouldn't that, talk. It was going crazy. Uh, that, I wouldn't that, talk. No if, I, if I could do porch, I was an hour. Right on her illo. Oh, uh, I, I know the night you talked about like, She right gone, bro. She, she like, boy, gone. get off me. Uh, <laughs> I was, baby. Yeah, hold talk. Oh. <laughs> hold talk. Yeah, no I ain't sending you shit, but voice note. What? <laughs> baby. You just saying shit to her. I'm on the way. Just saying shit to her. No, I don't. I'm just singing with everybody. Poetry voice too. Oh God! I swear to God, I'm telling you, he knew. Yeah, that's funny. Every time you talk, he knew how to give it to me, bro. That's funny. Shout out to my nigga. Make it happen, bro. That's it. Yeah, that's funny. Shout out to my nigga. 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 Shout out to a that's cool the best part nigga, about the whole man. shit. Uh, like being a nigga cool that you nigga. is, like every time I see you somewhere, niggas, bass, what up, why did? <laughs> mm-hmm. See these see niggas, what up, gang? Oh, my mama. Mm-hmm. It's always yeah, like and that. And bro. anytime he call me, like, hey, I need y'all to, um, we in there, we pulling up. You ain't, you ask us one time, we there. Pulling they up, don't bro. even be, you know what I'm saying? They don't never be nothing. It be like, damn, C's that say he need us to come. What we do? We got up. We, we in the spot. We in the spot. I know, mm-hmm. I know. Y'all pull up, bro. bro. It's just love, bro. Like I said, and I think oh, that that's fuck. something, bro. Uh, we don't, we don't got enough of it, bro. Like being happy. I be happy to see my partners. Happy yeah, to see my yeah, niggas. Yeah, like fine. I don't just be like. Yo, what's up with it, bro? I'm like, nigga! Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be happy to see my people, bro. Like, and yeah, we should crazy. be happy to see our people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he real what? shit, though. Yeah, bro, that's my people, bro. And like I said, you know, and, and that's something we got to keep pouring into each other, bro. Like, uplift, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that's something that's like, 
it, it's so prevalent in my life, but like the people who represent me in my life, bro, like we all, you know what I'm saying? We all have have something that we trying to like give to, Type shit. Give to the Type world, shit. bro. Mm -hmm. You know, for real. Yeah. It's crazy, like just the people that I meet, a lot of people are like givers around me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's crazy that when you just said that, like you, your whole family are givers. So I was like, damn, mm -hmm. I, I would never, I ain't say I would never thought that about you, but when you just said it, it just brought it to the light, like damn. So you, you raised like me, like my granny house, like well, my mama house, but my, uh, it was granny was her, do it her mama. So it was like everybody came to my granny house because they knew that if they needed a place to stay, mm -hmm. a, a, a bowl of oatmeal, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They come. Pull up. And even if we ain't got it, because it's like I told y'all, we was post with I've been booty away. bread, but yeah. she still found a way mm -hmm. <laughs> to give booty to you know what I'm saying. Like she I had an extra you as much as I gave you last time. Last time, but you I got you. I, I, you ain't gonna starve. Yeah. I got yeah. you. Yeah. So it was like when you that that put something on me. So like niggas know I and it's to a flaw sometimes with me because I give till I ain't get. But it's like I know I'm gonna get it back somehow, somewhere. I'm I'm Gucci. Like if you Gucci, like you need it there, you Gucci? Yeah. All right, I'm Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Gucci. I find a way to get another shirt, whatever the case may be. But yeah. So when you just said that, I was like, damn, for real. That just mm -hmm. gave me Pay another insight of you. Yeah, for real, for real. That's Shout crazy. out to my nigga Caesar, yeah, man. For pulling up. Yeah, man. Appreciate y'all for having me. Mm -hmm. That's man. crazy. That's you want to get in the oil? I want, I, I low key, I low key. Yeah, we can get it. We, we y'all got the topics too? We say that for the end. You got a topic? Yeah, I think I think your topic. No, my, yeah. You did, you did? Do I have a topic? Yeah. Who do you pray to, God or the algorithm? I mean, I'm not in a creative space. I can answer this first. I'm not a creative space, so it's not. I'm not praying to no algorithm. Well, no, what you mean by that? Yeah. I understand. I'm talking about this like society that we live in. You know, like, uh, a lot of people are their their whole uh, livelihood is based off of what the, they so, see. Yeah, yeah. What they oh, see. Oh no, yeah. You know I'm know saying so. It's just like. You know, are you are you more focused on the perception of things? Or are you more focused on like the reality? So it's like, do you pray yeah. to God? <coughs> perception like, is the algorithm now. for you. No, no, no perception is reality, but no, at the same time, no, no I'm saying it's everything. Now, no, I'm not saying that they sh it should be. I'm saying the way society. Oh, I don't even care anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm That's the nigga, the bro. I don't give a fuck. What a nigga think You know what I'm saying Like yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see me You gonna see me I'm gonna be the same way Every time, every time. I ain't finna try to put on no I, I ain't finna wear No certain hairstyle Wear no certain type of fit mm. Say certain shit Niggas Like I'm not finna be Saying no diddy I'm not, I'm not saying No disrespect to niggas Who is I'm just saying I say pause bro Yeah mm -hmm. That's just who That's how I came up right. I'm gonna stay that You feel what I'm saying Right So yeah I would say God yeah, yeah. I'm, about to <laughs> I'm gonna say God. it's like I'm not I'm not gonna I never been like any I love I love the, uh, another word that you use so I always tell my sons this and I'm gonna get into that after he get into this one but trailblaze like mm -hmm. that was a that's a that's a powerful word to me because I I've always been like trying to go against what everybody else was doing like yeah. like I'm mm -hmm. only do kid, your own bro. shit like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, my only yeah. kid bro like I had whatever pair of mics that you could think of bro I had both of, I had two pair of them. Like okay, that's how yeah. crazy it was. Yeah. But it got to a time when mom was like, I can get you three pair of shoes for this one. Mm. I'm like, what? Yeah. I can have three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me go pick one. And you can pick them. I'm like, what? I'm going crazy. And then I started feeling comfortable and just wearing my own shit and wear it how I would like would want to wear it. And it was like, I feel good in this space. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. I feel the yeah. best when I'm not looking like everybody else, when I'm trying to not look like everybody else. I, I like when people be like, damn, I know Gia wear that. And they'd be like, damn. Yeah, Move to the video you know, on drum, bro. I, nobody had never catch me. And I, and I like mics to this day. Like the one, the the OGs is the hardest shoe ever to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even with, I, I think the 11th, the Pat Leather Zone, them mm -hmm. bitches is crazy. Like yeah. I still yeah. love mics. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I can't see myself putting them on because if I step outside, I know like, I'm gonna see them bitches like nine, 10, yeah, 12 times. times yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, one no. thing that I do wear that I can't stop wearing because I'm a Chicago nigga is Tim's. I know I'm gonna see niggas. Ah, uh, Tim's. Like, but I can't, niggas I can't stop. Ain't wearing that boy got them on. Nah, he got them hoes on <laughs> with oh, sweats. Oh, oh, these oh, Doc Martens. Oh, these Doc Martens. Doc Martens. Oh, I started getting to the Doc Martens because I I, because most niggas don't wear Doc Martens. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, a white people. Most white people wear Doc Martens. You know what I'm saying? That's wavy. Them Doc Martens. Yeah, I fuck with the Doc Martens, the gum bottoms. You know what I'm talking about? It's the mid style boots. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nowhere with them. You nah, but me? the Tim's is going is OD though. Niggas, but I know a lot of Dallas niggas. Everybody wear Tim's. Tim. Everybody wear Tim's. Niggas bro. be rocking them. That's the thing. Like, I'm a Nike boot nigga. I can I can see the Nike boots. Them hoes going crazy. I'm a Nike. Boot. I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. I tried it, bro. But it was like, bro, like I like Milwaukee, bro. 
I'm from Chicago. We wear we wear Nike boots too. I'm saying, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm saying, yeah, like, we wear Nike boots. But I was like, I just couldn't do it because the wave had started, and I was like, well, fuck it, I'm gonna keep on wearing these Tim. No, polo boots started. Oh yeah, okay, started. I ain't gonna lie, I had two pairs. I had some polo boots. I ain't gonna lie, I had them hoes. I had a brown in the black. I had a brown in the black. That's what I had. Sorry, them too heavy. That nigga said, "Yeah." My nigga see them. I saw them. I saw them hoes. Oh God, y'all for the hell? I got them in the trunk. I don't know the jet ski cars, man. Hey, this is my commercial shoes. Them is commercial shoes. Oh my god. Oh, oh, god. god. The interview thought the boots on. Hey, <laughs> polo, polo boots, boots spiced them up. Like yeah, Alice. Yeah, they got shit. real spicy back there. They here. spiced them up. Hey, that's no, a, that's yeah, polo thing, boots though. was a little, a little small, little mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you had to tuck the jeans in the top of them Come on, a little yeah. bit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let them hang over just, Let, just a little, yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Not you too much, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all niggas are hot. It's crazy because I've never owned a pair of polo boots. You ever had a, you ever had a coochie fit? Oh yeah, I actually my eighth grade graduation oh, pictures. I'm in a red and black. We wore Kooji fish with Nike boots though. But I, I mm, eighth grade, my eighth grade pictures. I'm in a Kooji fish, a Kooji, a Kooji red and black zone. Some black those? jeans and some black tennis. <laughs> oh, so you were stepping? Oh no, you were stepping <laughs> on the show? Huh? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. <laughs> with, the, with the black tail and low key, if we could, 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 if I was hot. Oh my god! Kuzi yeah. fish went nuts on my life. Kuzi <laughs> fish went. Crazy. I was hot, but I what? Was, but I, I had the bitch. I had the one with the colorful hoodie, mm. uh, uh, with the Kuzi on the back of the pants, bro. Man, before a nigga start crazy. doing the bedazzle shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, I had the Kuzi crazy. on the back, nigga. Kuzi was crazy, a wave. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I will say this: um, I still have like my Kuzi fit. You know what I'm saying? You damn it, you still pull it off, but. On my mom, I still can't fit that hoe. <laughs> it's still big. Every nigga Koozie fit was too big, bro. bro my Koozie was like an extra large. I'm a medium. It's funny. Like t-shirt with the button up. I kid you not, bro. I tried that mud on like I said like a month ago. You know, I'm yoked up. You know, I'm feeling good. Still can't fit that mud. Plenty room in that bitch. Plenty room. Like ain't no spacious. Somebody cut the fan on. They gonna think I'm a ghost. Oh, <laughs> 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 what though? Jeans blowing up. Why I'm niggas' like, coozy fish was that big? Oh, they never did, oh, bro. This was like back in time. Boy, you know, the most came in one size. Yeah. Niggas dressed like that. White tees, two X white tees. Niggas just made a whole song about, song about that shit. Two X white tees. Love the white tees. Yup, in my white. That was a time though. You had you had had a little sticker on that hoe. The hoe said, "Hoe said two XL." We talking about you? Yeah, don't have an XL. I had to have at least a two X or a three X on that hoe. Yeah. That had to be some I, no, yeah, no. Nah, I would kill it. When you go to when you go to Foot Locker and you but yeah, you cause you had to buy your white teeth some Foot Lockers, how you got the good ones. Yeah. You had to go and they had the little stickers. You tell yeah. the niggas you need like four or five extra stickers. So when you rock that house, like, uh, the and then you can pop that what where you get your white teeth at? I'm from Chicago, bro. They got they got the same white teeth they got in Foot Locker, they got the gas station. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck y'all talking about. Nah, I mean, I mean, they they hit like the ones at Foot Locker, bro. And them hoes ain't got I ain't never been a gas station white teeth nigga. Niggas from your same city said the same. Yeah. I said me I ain't never been A gas station white <laughs> lady They used to have Them what? bitches Right in the front They got it right now I'm not saying That it's not true But the I ain't never been A gas station white tea Nigga I'm listening to The ones okay. that, that Foot Locker is 4 for 20 Nigga I get this for $3 Same thing bro I'm going to I Foot Locker like, I just feel like With a gas station Look at me now You nigga. can't say yep I can say yeah, my shit white, my shit yeah, white, just like this in my white teeth. They had them bitches in the plastic too. I swear to God, in the nigga. plastic, yeah, yeah. in my white teeth. Plastic is taped up. You gotta say uh huh or something in my teeth. Hey, my bitch, uh-huh, my bitch, just as big as yours. Bro, Fuck. Bro, probably bro. big. <laughs> Bro, no cap. Am I, am I adulthood? Am I adulthood? <laughs> crazy. I, now, now I'm like a corner store white tee, black tee ass nigga. Now that I'm like, okay, I might be on the move. I might, you know, this guy right. I gotta. Go uh uh real quick. I'll go by the by the corner store. I'm still team, not but, doing that. But I wasn't that, conscious of that at that age. You know what I'm saying? No. But yeah, I got little hood stores. I go to the grand. I'm still not Action doing it. Yeah, but that's the thing. The corner store white tea is gonna go. Is is gonna be the hug gonna have a little crispy already? So no, it's gonna little, be crispy for sure. It's gonna be ready, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'll grab the hug like to, now, I'm but not at that time. Now, though. I'm going right to Ralph Lauren. Ah, and give me some white teas. 
I can tell he got he got a he got a velvet he rapper. He got a velvet do rag. He write music. He said he got a velvet do rag. Yeah, yeah, that's boy. crazy. Now that you bring my attention, my nigga cozy. Shout out to my nigga Ruth. My nigga cozy. He cozy in this bitch. Hell no. Okay. I can tell he got a velvet do rag. Okay. I'm not going to polo, but I I will say I do go get old navy. Uh, white tees, bro. See, so he got the same nice. thing. Is he, they he cheaper getting, though? No, they cheaper. But than you, polo, but bro. you getting them from? I, I see. I see. Your point. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, a polo yeah. nigga. That's just how I am. Type shit. Well, but it really wasn't no style. difference between the Foot Locker. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was, was, yes, it was, was, was not. It was not. It had that Foot Locker on the tag. Disparity though. You feel me? It was white. No, them hoes are different though. Cause the corner store white tees, them hoes stop right here. No, the they had they called tall tees, bro. They did. Tall tees. Oh, you did. <laughs> you know, y'all know, come, and you get the little sticker where you can pop that home where right. the got the 3X sticker on Listen, that but we not I answer. saw too many niggas with them and the Foot Locker and it, it, I ain't see no it's exact, oh. it's exactly it's, and for one back in the crib we not keeping the sticker hey, that's, on that's, that's what your mama that's what your mama gonna tell you too it's the nah, same damn nah, shirt hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. at that time when we was really wearing white tees nigga I'm buying my own so my mama wasn't trying to tell me ooh, like I'm just looking like bro it's the same shit bro like I'm niggas, telling you I saw them Niggas. So I'm looking at them like, yeah, I don't really see it. I didn't buy none at the gas station either. Polo. But I Dude, saw Nike. niggas and I'm like, yo, shit nah, look just like I'm bro. I'm like, yo, this nigga damn near was wearing Nike uh, white tees, damn near. I know this. I nigga. wore Nike everything. <laughs> Nike, Nike won't I just feel like yeah. I just feel like a foot like uh uh, white tees are like 100% cotton gas station like polyester that nigga said 100% cotton shrink after you wash it and shit Egyptian cotton nigga I can't wear it with a cup cotton that do not draw that shit is that shit all coming from Pakistan. Air right, dry this right. bitch. <laughs> said 100 percent cotton. That shit coming from the same spot, same, same factory. factory. Yeah, yeah. That shit coming from the same <laughs> factory. <laughs> one going to Foot Locker, one going to Champs, and one going to the gas station. Mm-hmm. They, got, <laughs> they got the okay. little iron that's it. Foot Locker on there. That's the iron it. The gas station. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> I swear shit. to God. But to, but to segue uh, to the, to the other topic, um, everybody got kids. You got kids, brother. Mm-mm. Nah, so I had my my I had a personal thing that happened with my my son, and he was just like, mm-hmm. man, he set me down like a grown man, right? And he's a, he's a great football player, he's a better track athlete, and um, he set me down and was like, he's a good basketball player too, but he set me down and he had this whole list of everything of why he should only play basketball. Mm. Now we sitting back eating. I'm just waiting to rebuttal because I'm like, I'm his, I'm your daddy, nigga. I know I'm gonna find a way to slither in and be like, nah, this is what you about to do. But he hit me with so many boom, 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 boom. I was like, damn. And that brought me back to the word trailblaze. Mm. I always use that mm. word. You know what I mean? Right. I love that word. So I always use that word when I'm talking to them. And and only thing that was in my mind when he was saying that was trailblaze, 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 trailblaze. He even used a clip of Kobe saying. Shout out to the boy. Shout out to Kobe. Yeah, no the boy said, when he said, um, the teacher asked him if he had any other plans besides the basketball players. He was asking all the kids, yada, yada. And he was like, no, nah, that's my A, B, and C. And that's that little nigga Ain't no plan B. Ain't no plan B. <laughs> <laughs> and he like the sent, mentality, though. And he sent, it, the, it was the wittiness, right? It was this part. He could at least been like, huh, dad, watch this. Right. He sent it to me, sat back. We sitting across from each other like this and, and smirked. And Ty opened it, and I was like, I sent the cash up to the coach. Like, you know what I'm saying? Saying? I was just like, that's damn, what else? Yeah. So my question was like, uh, like, how do you feel about your child trailblazing, like, like creating their own path, like your child though? Because we always be so like, oh, I know what's best for you, or our parents like, I know what's best for you. This is what's best for you, and they kind of like, I don't say. It, came into me but i'm like well if you want to do this sport i can introduce you to these other sports to make you better at this sport he like well no nah, i'm gonna cut all that shit out i want to focus on this right like you know what i mean so that i was i, I had that question to them because i just want to see what other what other parents heads was when it came to letting their kid choose their own path essentially you know shout out to my nigga jamal that's his favorite word man we're we're in a town <laughs> Funny as a bitch. <laughs> essentially, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> twin, twin, like using the word uh, particular. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he said, he like, he like damn, nigga, for real? I'm just. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Tell him My bad. I just. I'm going to say it all the day. <laughs> now, nigga, here you go, man. That shit about to slip out still. That's what nigga work. Yeah. Just saying, no, and but, um, and but man, we're in such a lane right now where I know we live in a society where like accessibility to information is at an all time high. Mm-hmm. And so the youth are gonna wanna like have their own voice. The fact that I like work with youth, you know what I'm saying? Uh and I'm able to like see it firsthand, you know, uh bring bringing a bringing a youth into this world, bro. It is it's something that um how I was raised, bro. My mom was always told me like to have your voice, man, to mm-hmm. like make sure that you're heard, mm-hmm. to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel invisible, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And, and if you don't feel it, ain't nobody gonna feel it for you. And yeah. so that's why I'm always shit, I think I'm the youngest and freshest in the game, you know what I'm saying? And so like it Talk makes shit. me it make me think, um, you know, like how could I be in the business I'm in and have the heart and and speak uh, the message I speak without wanting them to like have their own voice and and march to the beat of their own drum to be mm-hmm. to do something that hasn't been done before you know so I, I would be a hypocrite yeah. yeah I'll be a hypocrite and I'll be doing any child whether it be mine or somebody that I mentor or whatever I'll be doing them a disservice to like not especially if they're gonna go through and find like how your son came to you and he had like stats statistics and like a bro, reason like he actually thought it through who said that yeah bro he said Look. that the best AU's played in the summer that's what Peach Jam is you want me to run track though I was like damn if he a hey, you know right. what I'm saying if he coming to you like he that said, bro, I, how you say no? I was just like damn bro what? and he was smacking me with the he facts didn't put the, yeah, he didn't I, put I, the couldn't, research in. I couldn't say nothing I was damn. sitting back like a damn little nigga I'm trying to find a way to rebuttal, but I can't. I was like, I gotta respect it. I, like I said, that's how you know how serious he taking. That's that's when I was We're like, business. you know what? <laughs> What's the age on? on or he's he he, uh, he just turned ten in February. Oh, he's hoping. Oh, he hoping for sure. Yeah, he for him to come like, He's playing. He's playing up with hmm. twelve. You like he's in fourth grade, but he's playing with the sixth graders. Playing you know up, what I'm saying? yeah. Mm-hmm. In basketball, yeah. and he coming yeah. at you at, at ten like that. Hey, but he a different he, type of dude. He though. might. Yeah, he a different he, type of yeah, dude. Yeah, he on that. He on that. Man, he's serious. He big serious. Little bro, like, yeah. he, he just he different when it comes to his mental. Like when it comes, he damn near like we is right now. Trying to get to it. Yeah, he like no. He don't, he, and it's crazy because he, he don't care about what nobody thinks about him. Mm-hmm. Got the mama mentality. Like, Bro, it's so funny that you say that now. Because we was just at the gym on the other day hooping. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking at these niggas run five. There's some grown niggas there and then there's some younger niggas, high school niggas there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, these niggas trying to run full court, long way. Mm-hmm. Five on five. And y'all got niggas that's walking the whole time damn near. <laughs> Mm. Like get a fast break, somebody leak out, throw it down, type shit. Like that shit weak as hell. Yeah, y'all might as well play. Like, why are we playing five on five if y'all playing like that? Y'all don't even got the mentality to try to take that shit serious, right? And then you got his son, ten year old, out here hooping. He mm-hmm. like, nigga, I'm trying to get it in. I'm trying yeah. to. Yeah. This nigga you feel what I'm saying? He go to the wreck. He got out of school out of practice. He go to the wreck and who? Went to the <clears> oh my mom, clothes. I went to the wreck mm-hmm. on some random shit one day. Like I'm down there by them. I'm going to the wreck, get my shit. I look around. Oh. I'm oh, damn. Nigga, what the <laughs> fuck he had a spot. I'm, I'm at work. Over there. This nigga called me like, you know, he at the gym, yeah. Putting up shots. Putting up yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah, that's gym, work, bro. And, he, and it's crazy because he got a big brother, but he don't need his big brother. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He really, yeah, he was at the gym first. He really beat to his own drum. Big bro came a little yeah. bit later on down there. He yeah. like, what up? He beat to his own that's drum. That's where it's at, bro. bro. It's another generation, bro. And these kids are a lot more focused, driven. I mean, whether yeah. it be whether it be on content crea- creation or what have Facts, you, bro, like that's, they're definitely locked in. And then like just like the training for like football, basketball, elite it's sports, different. like they're doing like serious training with these kids now, bro. And they seeing, you know, I think like they said the young kids like Paul George, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of the cats don't think like LeBron's to go. They like they how think, they, like, scoop, we just you know was saying? talking about that shit. My little, y'all my little brother. See? My little brother think Paul George is the GOAT. Which crazy I think, which I think it's crazy. Like, oh, I, wow, I think it's crazy too. Not and he argued me down. He'd be like, his game's so smooth. He this, he that. I'm not gonna hold you. The nigga do got that. smooth game. Like he play defense. He play. He got offense. I be like, bro, it's other things, and he ain't won yet. And they be like, so it what? Ain't even it the fact matter. that he ain't won, he just ain't there yet. He can't even get out the I East. He had to go to the West. Bro, he can't. His, his, his yeah, skill bro. set is not like Carmelo Anthony's skills. No, bro, at all. Not even. Close, not even close bro. to it. 
That's what you think for real? As a scorer? Yes. Score? Carmelo I think, I think Carmelo would score better, but as a player, he has better. He's thinking defense, defense. Yeah, he played better defense. Mm-hmm. But I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Because you're a scorer, no though, bro. You're not no, a No, because at the end of the day, nigga, if I can score on you, no matter what kind of defense you play, it don't matter what kind of defense you play. But I'm saying, yeah. but, but to say that, he go back to that old school. A lot of these younger niggas don't do that. They don't play defense. They don't try. They ain't trying to hold the best nigga on the other I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> niggas ain't taking pride into holding the best nigga. on that challenge. Like, I'm the best nigga. I'm going to score on you, it depends and on I'm going to stop about. you from scoring. I'm going to do both, you nigga. Right you got niggas that. like Anthony Edwards in there. Anthony yeah, Edwards played defense. He not Paul George. But he up. not in this age range where these young niggas can see. He, you're three, four. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying. like Paul you gotta, George like 10. Yeah, I feel like, 10 like niggas. I mean, again, I'm not taking away from, from that. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. I, Paul George got a lot. Jason Tatum and Paul George is damn near same. Damn near the same what? <laughs> right, what you think about Jason Tatum? I'm just, Jason Tatum's way better than Paul George. Way better? Yeah. How much How much is way better? Like, Paul, I mean, George, Paul George is like a 7 and, and Jason Tatum's like an 8.5. I mean, if you think about it, career, when you talk career about career-wise, he oh, has yeah. them. No, yeah, I'm not mad at Yeah, yeah no, no. That's not, <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. But I'm saying they're not too far from each other. <laughs> and he yeah. only in year, what, 5, 6. Yeah, they're not too and far he, from he, each he from other. He's from St. Louis, too. One of the best. <laughs> him and Bradley Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Bradley Bill is struggling. Hey, hey, hey. That's where, that's, that's, where, that's where it really is. That's what it really is. Okay, okay. Yeah, I see that eight point five. Bradley Bill, Bradley Bill is scrub right now. No, Bradley Bill is pooping. Is pooping that hole. Because this nigga is three zero. I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking yeah. at. I'm looking at what it really is. Because that nigga said after they took the L, he ain't never been swept in the playoffs. Mm. Who? Bradley Bill. Bill. That's what he said. But I'm like, nigga, I didn't even know he'd been to the playoffs. He like, did. He did when they played against oh, Brown. But look. <laughs> You ain't did shit since then. Like, how yeah. you? I, I, don't nobody give a fuck if you saying you didn't be, you ain't been swept you in the playoffs. You three on this team now, so it don't even. Listen, and when he was one, they wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, nah, that's OD. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, the basketball landscape definitely changing, bro. Uh, these guys getting younger, they getting colder, bro. Like, Facts, though. Yeah, There's some bro. young niggas who I don't know who they are, oh, but they doing them. some shit. Now, SGA, like Oklahoma City, he got oh, the yeah. boys playing. I like um, I like how Minnesota playing. I yes. think they, they playing really, really great basketball. That's bro. what I told him. If the Bucks don't win, mm-hmm. I want to win. Real talk, bro. Yeah, who? nah, the Bucks. I, I feel like the Bucks, they... they they got a chance, bro, but like it's just too much. They have all literally all the weapons they need to like win the hell right now. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that nobody gonna beat uh Denver. Denver? You like Denver? But I'm, I mean, I'm a LeBron fan, but I think as far as just being oh, no, they a, a, a realist, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, them niggas is them niggas is, is toast. Yeah, them so. niggas toast. I said when they had, and I'm a Lakers <clears throat> fan too. And I, I'm talking about AD and LeBron fan, but I was like, when I seen Denver, I was like, yeah, I'm not even. They just doing something crazy. You might as well went out, you know what I'm saying? You might as well just, I made it in the play, to be honest. <laughs> no cap. No, I'm just glad they won one. Real. At least they won one, bro. Yeah. If he got swept again, second year straight, I'm a Bron fan, bro. I went to LA to watch Bron this past year for my birthday, bro. Like, oh, he I'm was a, crazy, um, crazy. Bro, that, now, but he was going stupid, bro. I remember he did the little, the little spin layup against Houston, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It was a whole little vibe. Like, and just seeing him, bro, I'm like, this nigga is one of the greatest players to ever do it. Please don't let this nigga get swept. Dear That's Lord, all I want. Dear Lord, please don't <laughs> let LeBron get swept, Jesus. Like yeah, I'm I don't friend, understand bro. that he year twenty one. Like, no, amazing. What's the nigga supposed to do? Care. What else do you want this nigga to do? I mean, but if you gonna play, we want you to win. Yeah, don't get swept. Like, it's this a difference? Mm-hmm. But if you playing, we want you to like we want you to, to get a dub. I, I I hate you, T. I hate where you where your mom at? <laughs> where your mom at? Your mom at? Hey, mom. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. We on a pod right now, ma. I picked up only because it's you. We on here with a celebrity. He a poet. Say hey, ma. Hey, ma. <laughs> uh, he do poetry. Yeah, ma. He What's do up, poetry. Bro? But but everything we we sitting on him right now. It's looking real yeah, beautiful. We hear you. Blessed oh, is oh, nice. Hey. Big blessed. She lighting, lighting is nice in here. Oh damn! I ain't even peeped that. Oh yeah. See, see, it's looking nice in here, ma. Everybody said hey. Everybody oh, said hey. Look very nice. What you sitting on? Oh, you know that? Oh my mama! Over. I didn't even peep this. <laughs> what? It's the new couch. <laughs> but we will. Oh, mm. oh man, the hey. The, oh my mama! The, the pictures was amazing. The pictures is fire. The pictures, the pictures was amazing. I was just setting up the post. Post, post crazy for but yeah, we 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 gotta we gotta think of a creative way to put them on the internet because them boys is too fire just to yeah, let yeah. us do it any kind of way. You blessed us. I appreciate you. All right, you're welcome. All right, y'all be blessed. Okay. All right. Yes, man. Right, nice talking to you. Be blessed. God bless you.
In terms of what you were saying on how to raise, I know I don't have no kids, so you know I don't really just have, oh yeah, like, just Pit wait. Back to the question, right, right. Wait, what I'm saying, but I do feel like it is like an age difference as to where like um, where you can let them guide them guide their own self, but also where you have to provide guidance. So sometimes we do have to, as a parent, I feel like you do have to be strict in terms of because you know what's going to benefit them in the long run. I believe, but that if somebody too. coming with a mindset at a young age that knowing they want to like do, that, they you can't do. do nothing but respect but you just that, that but, yeah. because you know your you know your child. You you know my, what I'm saying. You know mix. that this per you know my son like. He needs a little bit more until he can figure that out, type you know. Because I, because I really do believe like you need to be like a kid in terms of an athletic standpoint. You need to, you need to do it all at least until you get to junior high and high school. That way you can figure, figure out which one you really want to focus on, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then after that, then you pick one. Then you go from there. But until then, you know what I'm saying? Go. But if somebody has like that determination at that young age, you gotta do nothing you gotta but let it go. you, you gotta polish you that gotta right then and there. And my next fact, after I made that one Facebook post, my no matter of fact, it was the same one at the end of the thing. Cause this the hoop I know. At the end of the thing, huh. I say, "Hey, there is he yours." Like I can't do shit with it. I'm a baseball player. Like I can teach you little shit. I can teach you work ethic. I can teach you how to work hard. I can get you to jump high. How to get fast and all the other that's shit. That's but how to put that ball in the bucket? Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm Pat Beverly. I'm Tony Allen. I want to walk these <laughs> boys. Said I'm trying to lock something. I'm up. trying to lock something up. I'm not worried about putting the ball in that basket, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna teach you how to lock something up, yeah. but. At least you gotta have this midi. At least you gotta have this float yeah, game, yeah. and I, at least you gotta have this spin move. Mm. He got that spin move, y'all. <laughs> he go hit y'all with that. Uh. Said, but I gotta give you to a nigga who really played this shit on that type right. of level. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, sure. if you pick up that ball and bat, now nah, I ain't giving you to nobody. Now you mine for real, for real. Now mm -hmm. I'm about to what you do this rigorous shit. What you play like center field, you know what shortstop? What I play. I, it's crazy that you said both those. My whole <laughs> fucking high school career. I played outfield. Oh, it's crazy because yeah. I moved, I went to Western Illinois and they made they moved me to shortstop, nigga. I'm a baseball fan. I love baseball. And they moved fan. me to short and they was like, cause, and it really was possible because all the outfit was dreams and scenes. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm taking somebody's spot. Like I'm about to play this year. So they started me off as a, as, you know what I'm saying, a split runner. So I was just running. Mm -hmm. And then spring ball came going crazy, bro. I'm like, I gotta get on this field. Like I'm the best defender y'all got. I got the best arm that y'all got. Y'all just playing it fair because I'm the only nigga on the team for real, for mm -hmm. real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then they was like, oh, let's try you at short. <laughs> Killing, murdering yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, yeah, now you're gonna start. Yeah, bro, I know I am. Yeah, you know go to the club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, I know I know I go. That, the only thing that really pressed me from continuing on in baseball was my, my kids. And I got caught working. They took my scholarship from a, a full to a partial, got caught working again. They took the partial all the way. You got caught working what, like selling drugs? Walmart, no, Walmart. You know what oh, saying? my bad. Yeah, they no, probably don't no, let no. you work. <laughs> you can't work. <laughs> I don't know crazy. what you mean by working. <laughs> I figured I figured up something like that, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, you that, you can't have you a scholarship to work you with a job? Full fledged no, dive, dived no. into it. Yeah. Really? It don't make sense. Uh -uh. <laughs> And then, and then at that time you couldn't get paid. You couldn't like get, you paid. Can't get paid. And they, what they, what they told me was that make no sense. they said you can find a they job. Broke. You can find a job on campus, and we'll put those funds to your to your tuition, and we just bring we we'll bring down your tuition, and then put more of that to your stipend. I said y'all don't pay that much. So it's only gonna be like four dollars. So that money is gonna go to what? Like right. y'all gonna add mm. thirty more dollars to my stipend? Really? That whole oh. stipend is going to oh, my the whole stipend is going to my fucking. Is going to my rent Yeah, That don't even like, make sense bro, That's not going to yeah, make yeah. sense to me But I'm mm. doing it overnight I'm working at Walmart Sneaking You know what I'm saying Sneaking That's crazy You got to sneak to work I still have study tables I still have two a days I still have workouts You know what I'm mm. saying I still have regular practice Like I still yeah. have all these Classes All these other things A living Yo y'all going crazy back there Hey, flat, hey flat. Get it down man So what man yeah, but yeah, no, on some real shit. That then hey. I got, and then that happened. That's when I, I moved back to the crib, mm -hmm. working at Boston Market and FedEx seven days a week. But then again, Boston I Boston Market, yeah, Boston Market That's and crazy. FedEx seven days a week, bro. And mm -hmm. then what? What I learned something else about being a dad yeah, at that vomit. time, my nigga, because it was like I just thought like just sending money was like taking that. care. Because my nigga, I ain't my 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 look. My daddy was locked up. He got out three years ago. So I'm not sure. I'm not understanding what it takes. To be a daddy, I'm like shit. They taking care of what the fuck is we right. complaining about? So I'm just sending the money, sending the money, sending the money, thinking it's cool. But I go up, I go up there. This nigga artist, I go up there to the school. You know what I'm saying to see she making her debut, bro. Look at look. This is how you know you got good energy. That's what I was looking for. My <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is how you got good energy, bro. Animals and kids only respond to good energy. 
this nigga here. Brother, what did he say? How you doing, baby? Animals and kids, but no. Hey. When it came, when it came to that's that, my little brother, man. Yeah, that's that's flat, man. You that's, seen him outside? You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know, know. Yeah, you see him know. on stage. But I thought it was just that, and so when I went up there to visit him, and these little niggas ran from me, I was like, "What? Mm. Like, nigga, I bought your shirt, your shoes, your ones, your diapers. I started naming shit in my head that I bought, and it was like, bro, this nigga ran from me, bro. Never seen me though. Don't know who I am though. I see me for the first two, three months, and then like that was it, because niggas had to go back to school, and I'm at the crib working, so it was like, and so I had to change my mindset again. Like, damn, bro, and it hurt me so much that my own seed, and it was like, all right. Yeah. Fuck this seven days a week. Fuck just giving, giving, giving. I'm a give still, but I gotta find a way to make the time to actually see them. Be there. To create those relationships. And that's when I realized that when having a kid, like, yeah, you gotta take care of your kid, but the money isn't everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the relationships that niggas yeah. want. And the whole time that I was like growing up, I had to figure out, like, damn, I just wanted a relationship with my nigga, and I never had that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the nigga was in jail. I never had a relationship with my mama because she was doing her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like niggas really just wanted the relationships. Yeah, he passed with a sister, but we don't want them to keep going around. But yeah, let me get one of them mm -hmm. middle let me, get, let me get one of them them, them hemis. Exactly. <laughs> what they call them? The hemis. The hemis. Okay. Yeah. Is that good? No. Like good? <laughs> but yeah, but that oh. shit that shit I was, was gonna crazy. say. Well, I, was, to I, want to, I want to get y'all point of view too, cause y'all both got you. Let me get boys. one of these. Can you throw me I one? I was like, gonna can you say one like Stone Cold. Just throw me one. Nah, he want to hit me. He go smash that bitch. He's trying to crack it in his head. No I was going to say shit that. I was going to say that. Actually, I ain't Jamal, and I'm playing. Like you said, what was that? Crazy. I threw my nigga the keys and a lot of A's. Just like, what, 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 what? What, 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 what? Yeah, I was going to say that shit go back to. The chalice, hey, the chalice going back up. <laughs> My bro said you gotta make sure you throw that pinky finger up too when you do. Mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sophistication. Nah, go, go. What you about to say, Scoop? I was gonna say I was gonna go. That go back to the topic that I brought up about just like at what point do you let your kids make their own decisions? Because at some point your kid gonna be an adult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they if they, they gonna have to make their own decisions, yeah, so it's like at some, you can't let you can't wait till they're eighteen. And be yeah, like, yeah, all right, yeah. now you, you go out there and make your nah, anything. Just anything. Just anything. Oh no, nah, right, yeah. right away. Yeah, I'm about to tell you. Right but I'm away. saying even in sports. So that's why I say when he say, if my son or whatever child come to me and be like, this one I'm gonna do. All right, let's go. Let's go. Try, give it a try. No, I don't no, even no. need that heavy of a breakdown. I'm gonna be no. like, if, yeah, why? If, and then if you be like, boom, boom, boom. I want to play hockey. That shit let's, look like it's lit. Go do it. Let's Just go try it out. Yeah. If there's like discernment, if he's like, if he is like. Showing that he's intentional, he or she is showing that they're intentional about this, and he's like, "Hey, I will put my heart into this, right. my thoughts." And yeah. you know, ain't yeah. no question, ain't no other question to do it. We're gonna do it. A lot of times, kids will kids will be scared that they'll kind of do shit because their parents tell them to do it. So exactly. if it's something that you saying, "Hey, I'm wanting to do this, I'm looking to do this, this is gonna fulfill me, bro. Let's let's get it cracking." Like, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if you want to play the cello, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, trying. All you gotta do is I, show I me that you really <laughs> want to do it. Hey, the electric trying. <laughs> You, know you show me that you really into that shit. That's it. Hey, I'm when you show it to me, I'm gonna start looking into yeah. it. Like, if you really doing it and you showing me that you want to do mm -hmm. it, then we can do it. If you just saying some shit to me, then I'm not trying to. Okay. Uh, exactly. No, if you if you bring it up to me, I'm gonna be just involved in it as you. So I'm gonna yeah. be doing. So that's why when you say he came to you and did that, I would have did the same thing, like sense. in reverse. Like if he sense. just came to me, like I want to play basketball, I'd be like, all right, if you want to play basketball, this will come with it. I'm shooting you video. <laughs> I'm this, shooting this you video. Gotta you do. still got to show me I, I, that I, I, you want to do that. Hey, 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 hey. You show me what you want to do that shit. I can show y'all the amount of shit. I'm going to give you all my time. This is what you want to do. So I was like, shit, nigga, if you telling me you want to hoop, I know what it's going to take for you to get to a certain level. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do everything I do right now, and I'm going to put that in you, pause right now at this young ass age. If you want to go through that shit, we going to Gonna do with it. That's why I told I told my like I'm on your head even more now. Like and once once we're, niggas really get the time, we can set away that time. I know you out the way now, but once niggas set away that time, oh yeah, I want you in the gym with the little nigga because nigga like I oh, yeah, clearly sure. teach him certain things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm talking about I was never I, and it's honestly most important of anything. I was never nigga a bucket getter. Like I'm, you know what I'm saying you, I can scope. Do you think that was getter. something that kind of made you? Hey. Huh? Resistance <laughs> getting it against it a little bit. Do you oh, feel like that's that part of your resistance? The fact that you you, you didn't do that, like yeah. you wasn't well, open like that. Hold on, wait, what? 
I, I, I'm, I'm laughing at Cesar. Deep ass is I'm, funny I'm, as I'm, fuck. Y'all got your own thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He well, said I'm you laughing. ain't no fucking get it. Cesar looked at me, I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what hey, the he fuck hoop, I do. He, he can hoop. The nigga That's can get buckets, bro. I he, he, I've watched him with my own eyes, bro. He can get buckets. But my thing was, it was, when you said that, it was just like, I know he was a junior Olympian. Like we went to Florida. Yeah, it looked, you know looked, oh, so you look looking bro, at that? You looking at, at like, like bro? You, you killing at this? Balls. Killing at this? You oh. top five on your football exactly. team? Oh, he, yeah, so he that, hoping for real. Switches. Like, that's switches. like yeah. football yeah. and track. Like he, he got, he, like, got he, That's what I'm saying. He you got doing this shit for right real? His mindset, like nigga, I'm trying to go crazy. I'm trying to like he ain't out here trying to play like little kids. You know how they be? No, nigga, I'm to kill y'all. I'm trying to kill. Yeah, when you got that at an early age, that's where it's at, bro. I think it's, I think it's two things to that that's though. what made it hard for me because i'm like bro just six just four months ago we was in iowa and you was running for outside fucking, going crazy no you was yeah. running at junior olympics like you're literally the fourth fastest kid to all the kids who ran track you're the fourth fastest kid in the 800 meters Damn. you're the third fastest kid at the 400 in the nation what are we talking about why are you giving this up? Okay. That was my whole. Uh, and okay. he want to walk away from yeah. it. Uh, I want to walk away from this. I mean, now, okay, now my, my football team. My football team is the number one in Texas, the number three in the nation. Facts. Um, that's too much. That, that, that's too much. Did you did did you show him the pros of like staying with like track and running and things like that? And he sat back and he said, "I hear you." He but, don't like. And he, he said, said when "I, I said you? that." You know, what I said that's, that's when he that's when he hit well, me he with the. Feel that. Yeah, he feel that. That's when he hit me with the. The best AU is played in the summertime, Dad. But you want me to run track? Well, he wants to play against the dogs. So okay, so check, mm. so, so check he this wants out. To Whenever play you, against the best competition in basketball, which he haven't got a chance to yet. Well, you mm. So he like, I ain't getting a yeah, chance to do mentality. this because <laughs> I gotta go run track. Oh, so I he's saying I ain't dogs. as good as this because you don't know how good I am at this. That's how <laughs> he's saying. You don't know what I, can I, go I you ain't even seen me do, go against the best. You seen mm -hmm. me go at the best. Doing that. So we we know that we we didn't well, line that up. We seen that. You ain't put me through that. You ain't lined me up with the best yet. I want to even if they even if they bust my ass this first year. Right next year, I believe, nigga, I'm gonna be yeah. that damn. I'm gonna go yeah. in here. I'm gonna see what I gotta pick I, up, I, see what I, I gotta I do. And next year, I'm coming right back. That's and good. I sent Tyrese Maxi Elite three hundred dollars. Oh, this shit good as my yeah, Tyrese. You know Tyrese Maxi, that's the homie, bro. From Garland. Yeah, he, he, he went to South, went to South Garland, bro. I watched. South I watched him play. I used to go to his. Yeah. Bro, I used to tell these niggas. I used to go to South with blue oh, yeah, and red. Bro, yeah, bro. So yeah, bro. Bro, so I went to Lakeview. South Garland is our rival school. You know what I'm saying? And like, I seen that nigga play his senior year. You know what I mean? Like 25, seven and seven, like four or five grown man dunks. You feel me? Like Tyrese Maxi was like that in high school. Remember, remember, Lil M had Rich. Had RJ Hampton? Yes, at yes. At the same time. Yes. So yes. I go I go to the I go to the little M and South Garland game, right? Right? So everybody everybody plugged up on on uh on RJ Hampton at first because he was like RJ was bigger a little he bit. He was bigger a little bit. He's supposed to go to AM or something like he was that. He's supposed to go it? something crazy, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm at the game, I'm I'm dolo. I'm in this bit South Garland. Where the fuck I'm at? Cause I'm fresh to Texas. I'm just watching press sports. I love high school sports. Yeah. So I'm just at the game. And this nigga, I'm like, this nigga Tyrese kind of suck. Well, he don't suck, but he ain't doing shit. The nigga had like five points at the half. Yeah. And this nigga yeah. RJ had like 22, like mm. three rebounds, two blocks. Like, well, I'm yeah. like, damn, this nigga maybe is a true. Yeah. This nigga Tyrese Maxi. Second half. Second half. Savage. This nigga ended with 34. Savage. Mm. He had five points at the half. He ended with 34. A bro. grown man. 34. And one. I'm about to that. I think it was and amazing, bro. One. Like, bro. amazing. I was bro. like, bro, who is this kid, bro? Like, who, who the fuck is this dude? Who the fuck is And I followed him since then. Yeah, hey, bro. He right was now. crazy since like that. Then, like, his time, at Lake, his time at South Garland, bro. Like, crazy. Yeah, like I said, they yeah, played us, bro. It was something like I had never seen in person. Like, outside of professionals playing, and I used to go watch college ball and stuff because we played in college. But, like, mm -hmm. outside of professionals playing, I've never seen somebody play so good. You know what I'm saying? Before my eyes, I've never seen something like that, bro. Shit, yeah. But, um, like, but cold, like, yeah, he had, like, 25, 7 and 7, bro. I'm talking about punching that hoe on niggas, like, talking shit to our coach and our huddling shit. Like, that play ain't going to work. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like that trap defense not gonna work. I hear him talking shit to the coach out there just going crazy, bro. It's it's just different, you bro. You can't do nothing about it. There's nothing you can do, bro. <laughs> when it's you. like that, it's nothing. I remember you. when I and take it back, and I we got we went crazy in the sports, but I remember being at Hills Franciscan, bro. I went to high school with this nigga named Jerome Randall and the nigga uh that Shaq always talking about. What's that nigga name? Uh the light skinned nigga. What is this nigga name? He always Bro. Who is the light skinned nigga name that 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 Shaq always talking about? 
Shaq the food. Shaq the McGee. Javale McGee. JaVale McGee. I'm JaVale talk McGee. So we playing a Christmas tournament called the Big Dipper. It's a big ass tournament in Illinois, right? Mm. This nigga, uh, now anybody from Illinois got to come to this tournament. At the time, what's that nigga name? The the light skinned nigga with the fro that was with the Clippers. Jabari. No, he no, was with the, the Clippers. Clippers. And then he won a chip with uh your, with your team. Oh God damn! I forget he his name. Want to chill with your team, Sean Livingston. Sean Livingston. Sean Livingston. Mm-hmm. This nigga was so cold in high school. Oh yeah, facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. That last year nigga was cold. Was and I'm gonna tell you another person was cold. Oh, what made me believe? Not not even not even not even uh Larry Bird, but who in John Shia made me believe in white boys hooping. Oh, uh, I think a lot John, of people I, don't I, know I, who I John think, Shia is. I think Jimmy for dead. Jimmy for dead. I'm a Duke fan now, John so I know who you're talking John about. Shia was a Duke, but he's yeah. a. I'm talking about John Shaw used to do shit like step half court. Like, I used to be like, bro, this nigga is insane. Him, John Shaw, Derrick Rose, and, and, and fucking um, mm. and Sean Livingston was probably the best three niggas I've seen come out of Illinois, bro. Like, with my own eyes. Going I ain't, crazy. I ain't, I ain't talking about like the old niggas, Isaiah's and, and, and the nigga that played for Dallas. I ain't talking about the old niggas. I really wasn't there, but the niggas I seen, I didn't even get to see Tony. Tony Allen who, but the niggas I seen, the Derrick Roses, I seen the Derrick, the Derrick Rose take an inbound, a stolen inbound, one step, windmill, punch a nigga, grown man. Some shit. <laughs> but like, D, D Rose used to be my, before LeBron, D Rose is my favorite player, but so I used to be yeah, a Pistons same. fan, and I fucked with D Rose, and D Rose got hurt, and then, uh, can you remember, he gave it, he gave it to LeBron and them uh, in the Eastern Conference Finals mm-hmm. that year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, bro, he won MVP type when, shit. Hey. And, I, and I, that was my dog, and then he got hurt, so I started rocking with LeBron, and then wherever he went, I got Cleveland merch, Miami merch, uh, Lakers merch, yeah, nigga. nigga like, that nigga I, D Rose is a monster. D Rose used really to be he a different entity, bro. Nigga, he still, if he wouldn't have got hurt, he would have been crazy. He still be cooking niggas. He, he be just ain't bucket, He just bro. still ain't, ain't above the rim like he used to be. It look different now. It looks different now. He was dangerous. No, he was okay. too crazy. So explosive. Okay, but I, 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 know, I, I don't know how much time we got, but I got a question, bro. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. we get ready to get up off here, would y'all be with a woman that one of your partners smashed? Be with him. Like, would you like? Well, like, could, like, like, could this be your girl? Like, oh, my partner fucked her, but now she my girl. No, sir. He only fucked her one time. Not me, bro. What's yeah, he, 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 okay. Like, he, yeah, only, yeah, he, he only. Okay, look. I'm saying no, okay, look. Like, okay, okay context is context. two years ago they fucked twice, and they stopped talking. They ain't talked since then. Now, what's the context of your bro, though. Yeah, yeah. That's your partner. Like no, your no, no. partner, partner, or is this what's, like what's the situation? He's right your now? okay. You know how you got first cousins. Yeah, mm-hmm. he like your second, second cousin type shit. So it's not. Just, so it ain't my uh, nigga. It's my. It it's ain't. Just, it's you gonna you gonna see him around, but yeah, but that y'all ain't just yeah, but y'all cool though. Nah, bro, I'm not with her. If That's I mean. see the nigga often, then probably not. If I see the nigga bro. like once a year, then probably okay. But now, okay, what if it's one of your partners? No. Like one of us. Like, no. Yeah. Like, you see us together all the time. And if it's, mm-hmm. nah, bro, hell, hell no. Bro. Yeah. You mm-hmm. damn, I can't even look at you sexually like that no more. You like, off, like I can't, like. You know what? I'm not going to say hell. What you mean? Okay, okay, nah, okay, nah, fuck, okay, nah but, what if, but what if it was like, yeah, what if it was Unless like. Unless it was his girlfriend. Like before y'all locked in, though. Like, like, that's what I was finna say. Yeah, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah, I can't even like before y'all locked in. If it's him, I done known this nigga my whole life, so it ain't no fucking way. We knew this girl. No, and but like and but he fucked with her six years. He fucked with her six years like, ago. Then you met her at the club. You met her at 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 the at the, at the Whole Foods. You met her at Whole Foods. Okay, you was at a shop before no, some you organic know what? apples and shit. Hell no, it was him. Hell no, it's because I know him. He like, freaky as hell. Freaky, freaky G. So no, freaky G. What, how how the type of nigga that my nigga is? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be like, oh shit. I'm like, nah. I Bro, y'all say, nah, not on shit. That's my nigga. That's shit. Nah. If Rooster. it's my nigga that's and I be like, oh that nigga's a wild he, nigga. He don't be on shit. All right. That's but if it's my nigga and I know he be wilding, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Fuck mm. Cause you know, I'm taking her down under. <laughs> that's hey, funny. Said, I'm taking her down, down under. Hey. Hey, I know Hey, I know what that means. She going down. Hey, right, nigga, we was going crack. Hey. I'm coming to this telling y'all. Nigga. Hey, oh, my mama. Like, so you would be you you wild if you want to go there. To me, you a wild man if you want to go to that. Yeah, I, I, my nigga was just telling me that because one of my cousins did that to one of my cousins. Crazy. He, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if my, I know my cousin ain't that, I'm gonna be like, 
All right, you over you you be chilling. Bro, you but it's his baby wild. mama though. It's his baby mama though. Oh no, 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 baby mama, no. That's definitely that's all day. But he asked me. He asked me, what would I think if he was the you know what I'm saying with mine? And was I was crap. like, if I'm completely honest, I wouldn't even care. Mm. Mm. Now, I might have backed in like a, some time ago, but now like I'll be like, I think it's weird. Like y'all niggas. Like, you know this is my cousin, right? But I wouldn't even care enough to give it no. I wouldn't give it no. Energy, it depend, it, it depend on the space and bro. But that's one thing. Like if it's a small net community, I always tell my partners. I bet about, shit, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a million other shorties you could have talked to. So that's different. But if it's something where there is some time in between, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wouldn't feel as bad about you it. Feel I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if it was like well, shit, y'all fucked around like whoop to whoop. I didn't know you whenever y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Then yeah, it's a whole different situation. Yeah, but yeah. like. For the most part, though, if I'm gonna see my, see you around or see my nigga around, yeah, 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 that's I'm crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, that is all crazy. Deep. No cap. That kind of kind of take me to the other topic, though. But look, but I look at it like this too, though. Like, uh, do you do you really be remembering every chick that you fuck no. like that, like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's <laughs> like, all right, you crazy. fucked her, but well, you, you might not mother. really. Yes and no. If you my girl, if you was my girlfriend, then I I probably I know a lot about that body. But yeah. if you was just one of the but that's what I'm saying. To his scenario, he said they fucked two times from years ago. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, that, in that sense, you probably Yo. don't even remember that. I was in your sense, you, know you only fucked body. twice. I know a lot right, about that right. body. You know? If I only fucked twice, then I mean I probably didn't even care that much. You but, probably but, don't I, even remember. But ain't no so lie. it's like I, fuck I, it. I have I forgotten, but I ain't gonna lie. I forgotten a couple bodies where like I ran into a chick and I'm like. Oh my life! Did I? Oh fuck! Did I fuck you, you? remember? You know what I'm saying? That's happened to me. Not too long ago, bro. bro. I was not a she was looking at me. She was like, she looked at me. I was staring at her. She said, "Nigga, you, <laughs> you know me." And I was like, I said, "Oh, I, I damn sure you do know me." <laughs> I do. My bad. My bad. You know what I'm saying? It be like she that. She said, oh, "You know me." I'm like, "No, you know me. You know me. No, no, me. No, me. No, 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 I'm like, damn, I do know you. Oh my god! Remember this? Oh my god! Remember this? Ah, you don't remember that, bro. Ah, remember that. That's what she, that's what she wanted to say. Oh, my God. That's what she wanted to say. Remember this? Yeah, it's crazy. Tell your daddy I said. Like, Tell your daddy I said. Ah, man. Oh, my life, my life. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It ain't even that deep. I, I'm not gonna That's lie. I had, fun. I had a bullshit. few, but they didn't say nothing. I, I was looking at them because I'm like, and they were just like, mm hmm. I'm like, okay. It's me. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, hey, nah, Twin is a sniper, bro. Okay. Twin is a sniper. Hey, boy, I'm talking about smoke. like, I'm talking about Conan the Barbarian. Hey, Twin is a sniper. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he like Conan the Barbarian. We both got twins in here. Relax. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that relax. is what you say. Relax. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same. I'm just Take it yeah, easy. My niggas. Hey, we're we gonna, we gonna cut this out. We're gonna cut this out. <laughs> we're gonna cut this out. The interview, G. No cap. Nah, Twitter yeah. sniper. Time, what? The time used to be had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, back in like the gap. Move, I like that. Listen, man, that's what I'm like saying, move, bro. You know what it's saying? been a time. I'll tell, I tell all the women. That I end up like dealing with seriously, like bro. Listen, I'm not gonna hold you. Like I had to hold. Like mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I go out. I'm, if I'm how single, did, how that come up though? Because I, I I I do the work early because I don't want you to try to be trying to figure out shit. Like look, man. Listen. So that's the thing, man. But, but I'm saying, so you don't even let them try to figure out. I mean, we gonna have a conversation, but no, I don't even want you to try to guess. Cause like I said, I had an experience where a nigga was like, "Oh, this nigga get all the hoes." Then I had a shorty like on my ass, like every little thing I did, just because a nigga telling you I get all the hoes. Like, yeah, don't do that shit to me. Bro. I told, I had somebody like that, oh, but I told her, "You should just like, fuck her." I mean, as soon as she told me that, like I told her, like, like, like go, friend. go get you an ugly nigga. Then you, get you, you an ugly nigga. That, but that's what I say though. Like, you know I'm like, nigga, you think I'm attractive? Ugly nigga, my nigga over here like. You think I'm attractive? Yeah, I think I'm attractive <laughs> enough to know that I can get a girl. <laughs> if you look good and I pulled you, then I obviously had. To What's be. the love? That's what I was saying. That's what I'm saying. If you like me, you know somebody. Somebody else like me, bro. And I'm hey, on both. What we said a couple weeks ago. Everybody that wants somebody that's uh, what's the word? Desire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everybody wants somebody that's. 
you gotta know shorties want, like me too. You know, but you, men don't want no ugly woman and women don't want no Facts. ugly man. You want somebody that you know somebody Facts. else wants so that that's all your own. That's, oh, yeah, I'm that, sure. It's human nature, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or even though, or, or even if they <laughs> ugly, them niggas might have a bag. You know what I'm saying? Or they might, be, or they might be packing uh, some salami or something. They gonna have <laughs> something <laughs> that you know somebody else wants that, that they can't have Stupid. because you's mine. You know what I'm saying? You Y O U apostrophe S use. It's mine. The question, bro. The apostrophe is How many crazy. bodies is too many bodies? I don't think it's a... That's crazy. We kind of had this topic. Yeah, we said, we said it. Of, okay, my bad. My said, no, it ain't, it ain't a real... Yeah, like, it's, for, it's, for us, it, well, for me, it ain't no like... Uh, like we always say the same thing, majority. Like, no, nigga, if you ain't had no train ran on you, then I really don't even care. I'm not gonna. I'm not because I'm not even asking that question. I'm not gonna. How do you me. verify the train? That's a fact. It's a fact. But You're I right. really don't want to know. You feel me? I'm not asking. Is that the train be like the same day or just being the same? No, same you know area. Train, no, 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 no. I'm saying, what would you be like? S same so, spot. So, say for instance, we all in this motherfucker. Like, I'm in the corner. I'm in the corner like this. All right, come on, nigga. I'm ready. Come on, I'm about to go next. But you got. I'm about to go next. That's a train, bro. Oh, cause she got she stuffed all her hoes and stuff. I'm in the corner waiting. That's okay. a train. Oh, okay. If your chick got done like that, <laughs> you gonna be with her? No. All right, that's what I think. That's what we said. So don't tell okay, me. Okay. <laughs> I get what you said. <laughs> 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 you gonna be afraid to take it there? I'm gonna take it there. No, I mean, I'm gonna take it there. Nigga, that's a real life experience. Nigga was sitting in the corner. Y'all having two different conversations. Y'all having two different conversations. That's something that I don't. I'm trying to get away. I'm gonna just. So we, look, this, we're not, not going to speak it, but I feel this, you. This, <laughs> nigga, this, my real, this my real thing, though. I'm a nigga like, if Boy. I do something, then I expect that out of you already anyway. You mm, know what I'm saying? Mm, so like, if I'm... Back. If she I fucked a certain before. amount of girls, then I, yeah, yeah, it's like, you you know, for the show be something that I've never seen before. You know, for Back. the tip. I done ran the train on shorty. Like, I done went a long way with shit. So yeah, if I, if I done hit 50 <laughs> girls, I, in my mind, you, you hit, hit 50, 50 niggas. niggas. That's how I'm looking at. That's just that's what I'm thinking. So in mm. my mind, I'm not thinking like, okay, she. Nice. If you, yeah, yeah, I don't if you think your that. girl done fuck fifty niggas, that's crazy. No, I, listen, I'm, I'm not thinking that I'm like not, for you, real. But I'm, 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 I'm like accepting it because yeah, if, yeah, I tell, yeah, if I tell yeah, you, if yeah, I be yeah, like, this my number, because you, you like, ask me how many shorties I fuck, bro. You look, they go hit the kid hard. Damn, damn. I'm sorry. Look, she gonna grab the, she gonna grab the mic and be like, damn. I'm sorry. Bro, like, like, look, she be like, this is a safe place, this is a safe place. Hey, I This is a safe place. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't say it like that. Like, no, I meant, I meant, like, no, you ain't gonna do that. I ain't telling you nothing else. Safe space in my ass. Yeah, safe space in my ass. Damn. She's gonna be like, damn. That's, that's me though, like, I just don't understand why. Why, that, say, why, why do people talk about that? Like, yeah, why we ain't gotta have this conversation for real. I ain't gonna hold you. But it's 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 a uh, it's necessary, it's bro. Mm. I mean, you don't necessarily got. I, I like to know where where things have been. You know I don't want to I don't want to know. I wasn't there. Oh, I'm just, a, that's how I feel. Yeah. If I wasn't hey. part of it, bro, I don't know shit about it. Don't so exist to me. I wasn't I there. I, I how mean, that old song go? Because because how that old song? If she tell you she got. Listen, this your baddest shorty. You really love her. She tell you she fucked 40 niggas. How you gonna feel about it? I'm gonna be hurt. I know, but before that, I heard is crazy. You was good. You was Gucci. You was Gucci. Yeah. But this is the same thing I was saying earlier this week but when that, I was talking about now, finding yeah. out about an ex. You was good. Before you do that, why does no, it, why does something change just because you got some no, new information? You gonna look at every nigga differently. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at every. Are you part nigga. of the forty? You gotta got take that forty, oh, and then you gotta multiply. <laughs> multiply. <laughs> multiply. You want to do? So I don't want to do, 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 do that in my head. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's a lot, bro. I mean, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. If I feel like I'm saying you vibing with and shit, I don't want to. Don't fuck that vibe, but. I feel like that box feeling good to where you I know I ain't no nasty ass wild shit yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, like, okay, okay, cool. I'm freak out shit. I'm saying y'all gotta say some nasty like shit, Ray. Cause I'm a nasty, nasty mother. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. That's low key what he That's low key what he said. That's life, by the way. That's life, by the way. That's life, by the way. Okay, though, for real, for real. For real, for real. Yeah, for real, for real. I just don't think that need to be a conversation. I don't see no. Yeah, we don't got to have that conversation. Really? Ain't no, but I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's good feedback. That's because real shit, good, though. Because sometimes what, like, what, what ain't for us ain't for us. The energy that you we created like, is I all, don't we, wanna, need to I don't all we need to indulge in. Yeah. Don't do that to okay? me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't even, it don't even matter. 
But yeah, that's the reason why I say yeah. I get that out the way early though. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I had hoes because it come up, nigga. Yeah. Niggas be low key hating on you. <laughs> I had hoes. Yeah. When we go out, that's low key hate. Jamal, if we go somewhere, yeah. it might be somebody that know me in there. Yeah, nigga. Uh, oh, oh, this nigga got eyebrows, bro. This is this nigga name. Oh my mama, you 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 date oh. him? You dating him? He had this <laughs> many. <laughs> he used to fuck with her and her. Like, bro, I was single at that yeah. time. If I'm single and you single, I believe you can talk to whoever you want to talk to. With no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. There's, 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 there's been that, no guidelines set. Yeah, yeah, yeah you feel no me? Boundaries, like, no, like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If I want to have sixty hoes while I'm single, you kinda, kid. you trying to control yeah. what I did before I met you? Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I can go back and change that shit. Here's the loser. I can't change that shit. <laughs> now I feel crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's just something for you to think about. It's just something for you to think right. about. No, you're right. You're right. I, I, listen, I had to get that same perspective, though. I, yeah. I didn't wake up with that shit because I was the same way. Now my I feel crazy. I had to understand yeah. myself more like shit. Jeez. I can't be mad, bro, because okay. I can't yeah. change that shit. Yeah. And my thing, yeah. listen, yeah. listen, I know for sure mine going to be. And mine's gonna be more than yours more than every yours. time. So mm -hmm. I gotta shut the fuck up. I know the type cool, of nigga bro. who I am. I, I gotta know who I am. Shut the fuck up and be cool. Just like you know who you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. y'all niggas know who hey, y'all are. What that, what that, how that Diddy song go? You I don't wanna know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, what though? Uh, now, now, now the body count can fucking get a little. Yeah, crazy. it can get it crazy, can crazy, crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. That shit can get real. Niggas used to be, bro. I'm not saying no to be on no bragging shit. We had a good day. We went on a good date, nigga. On my mama. We went crazy. We went out the east. You worried about some shit I did before I met you. I seen the shit. This one, this one really fucked me up. That's the defensive argument. Yeah, this one really fucked me up, bro. I seen a chick say a nigga having 10 bodies is too much. And I know for a fact, like, nigga, like, Damn, nigga, ugly what, niggas got 10 bodies. That, bro, that's not it. No, at 10 not years old? Ugly, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> ugly niggas got 10 no, bodies. Like, you tripping, crazy. nigga. Overly tripping. <laughs> 10 bodies is crazy. And, and it was a couple of, it was a group, like, yeah, 10 bodies is crazy. I'm, I'm talking about the niggas. So this how women. Air Force One. They definitely dating no What's a crazy number, though? What's a crazy number? Ain't no crazy number type shit. Just that's how I, you know. Okay. I mean, not, not saying that. But she said this last time she was here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. she said this though. Facts. You know, you know, she said "damn" in her head. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. She said the same thing like, last time she was here though. All right. So this this kind of pivot back to the next topic that I had. I want to ask, not topic, but something I want to ask. And since we all here having this open discussion about this, what do y'all feel about? Polygamous relationships. You feel like you, could, you know what I'm saying you like you want to do something that you could feel you could do something like that. Or? Hell, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm, to I'm too much of a uh, like an empath, bro, and like I'm very when I'm sexual, bro. I'm really pouring I'm into a woman. Crack some on I me. think that I think that one. I have been in threesomes before, and I think that's dope. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a cool vibration, but I need to pour into a singular entity. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can give you focus. Yeah, every, yeah. Every, everything you deserve. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because me, I'm a. I can. I'm like a square. I'll be like, oh shit, I'm here. I'm there. So like, if I'm making love, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to be in a situation where I can put that. Pull, put that. I had, no. I had to figure that out. Put that yeah, pull, no. boys, I was just hitting yeah, shorties for a long time. Yeah. Then you figure out. Sick. Bro, when you start making love, that's when you start bro. knowing that you really like the short. I'm short. making love. Nigga, I'm talking about you come over and talk about my eyes and kiss you on. You hear me? Yeah, we making love. You come over to the Ooh. palace. I'm being on the eye contact. Yeah, we kidding. Kidding. Yeah, yeah, we All right, y'all. Right, calm no down. Cow, Niggas <laughs> sticking <laughs> their tongues out. <laughs> he, he, he kept it a buck, though. It's crazy. Bro, I ain't just into making love. Fingers and extremities is going everywhere. It is. And I think as men, we should transition to our space because, like, you can fuck all the women that you want. You know what I'm saying? But whenever you go into a space where you start pouring into a woman, you start in involving foreplay, you start you, you start thinking about her before she even steps into the space, you create an ambience. All that shit is a part of the experience that's gonna lead up to your climax. To everything you know what I'm saying? saying? To everything that you've been looking for whenever you first said hi to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And like mm -hmm. but like we we not I was thinking say, about it. It's that. the conversation throughout the day. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Real that's talk. Right there. Real talk. <laughs> that's cold right there. Yeah, we shit. just setting up and, and everything. You've been laying there, you yeah, you oh, well, I got the light dim, music traps all day. Oh what though? It's like 
red wine or white wine? Femme? Okay, cool. Yeah. Fish or steak? <laughs> okay, cool. Do you like vanilla or you like lavender? Mm. Bet that. Cool. By the time you get to my space, this shit had already been curated for it's you to be laid, vanilla, for free to be flip smacked and, 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 and rubbed this. down yeah. properly at the party. I started the booty first. Yeah, come on. Hey, booty, hey, booty, booty first though. Okay. Nah. Booty first. Booty first. Let me make sure the groceries are in the house. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Make sure everything is properly taken care of. Intimacy. Intimacy, bro. And that's something that. I like I start to I start to crave myself, bro, because I'm like it's cool just coming no, over. We facts, gonna get bro. right to it, but then like it's something about <laughs> laying out a whole ambience experience. You know what I'm saying? That like mm -hmm. it's gonna bring them in differently. You know what I'm saying? No, mm -hmm. Y'all, like freak, y'all both freaking horny as hell. You yeah, both of y'all. They over there. These these twins. It's really triplets. Y'all the two twins, and then them the twins over there. Them the twins. Those two. I said those two twins. These two. Twins, we triplets. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, 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 freaking, freaking twins. Hey, but we almost freaking. all the same. Hey, we, though, really. what, 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 how you say that? Quid, 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 quintuplets. Quintuplets. Yeah, quintuplets. Quintuplets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quintuplets, yeah. Here we go, bro. Brothers. Here we go. We're happy yeah. and we're singing yeah. and we're yeah. colored. Yeah. 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 This oh is a crazy God. episode. Right. Funny as hey, this is a crazy song, <laughs> I know y'all's gonna be showing out on this song. What he bro. said though was no, fact, you though. brought this energy, bro. You, bro real you, talk. You, you and my man's right here, man. Look oh, like oh, PND man. over here, man. Come on. Hey, we hey, and you don't, you don't <laughs> even realize we ain't even got turned <laughs> up yet, bro. We just vibing right now, bro. <laughs> I know how man. you get it. If you call this nigga twin, I don't worry. That's my bro, dog. I scroll, I scroll to my Instagram. Hey bro, I scroll to my Instagram and I see this nigga Black Seas on that bitch doing something that I'll be doing. I'll be like, look at this nigga. This nigga dancing hard as hell. Like, ah, oh, damn, this nigga see. Bro, the shoulder, the shoulders and the, the hips. Shoulder work. Yeah, they be, they shoulder be, work. yeah. Don't let, don't, let, don't let me and get I'm active, just, bro. I'm just scrolling through the Instagram, just and doing we gotta, this We got to pop out all the And this nigga, nigga was just on. like. Mm -hmm. Come on, yeah, yeah. I yeah. said, but where you at, bro? Where, where you going? Bro, <laughs> hey, you at a Porsche We got to pop this? out for sure. I got to right. give him that work, bro. I, I, I be telling myself, I feel like I'm like an R&B singer or something, bro, but it's the poetry. Damn, there bro. is. The no poetry cow. ain't too far. Yeah, yeah, no cow. Cow. Parallels are bitch. I be trying to give it to him. Hey, 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 you hey. took the words out of my mouth. That shit's <laughs> parallel. Bro, bro. Well, we go somewhere where we're all white, nigga. Boy, where? We be, nah, that's the thing, though. But this nigga right here has no conscience, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that in like a good way. Like the brother just like tapped in. He, he, he understands like women, he can chop a shorty down. You know what I'm saying? Like I just, I'm twin. just trying to like, that's my twin bro. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, brother, bro, be, the boy be locked in. Baddies, twin. baddies on baddies. Baddies on baddies. The baddie factory. Oh, yeah, man. don't care. <laughs> Hey, no, hey, hey, but that's hey, what I'm hey, no, listen, I Don't cut it out. Don't cut this all out. Shit, don't cut this all out. Tell y'all, we understand what y'all say. It's no just cup. the same to way. Win. Where, Where have y'all been? I feel like if we all go out it's together, crazy. It's that crazy. shit going to be, be we need to get like a section or some shit. That shit that's what I'm saying. We got to pop out one time. It's What's gonna up? be crazy. What's it's up? Good, twin, twin birthday at the end of summer. You know what I'm saying? So shit. In the summer, September 16th. So shit. Yeah, yeah. We can pop out. Definitely go, pop out. We can so do that, that for sure. Go get active somewhere, get a little section. Yeah, you know we can what do saying? that for sure. Hey, just let y'all know yeah. it's gonna be more than a one day activity. Though. It's gonna be a whole weekend. It's gonna be more than a week. No cap. Instagram on my shit. We gonna tap in. We gonna tap in. get right. But I ain't gonna lie. I didn't have fun on this hoe. But I ain't. I knew we was gonna have fun. But I ain't know we was gonna have fun. Nah, I didn't think it was gonna be this crazy. This shit funny than the hoe. I thought gonna be more serious than than, than this but hey it is nah, we can't it is. Nah, we got it i didn't think it was yeah i thought it was i knew what this was about to be after i after we saw after the first time <laughs> he was supposed to be on here and we saw that he you was talking to that nigga on facetime oh, oh, oh yeah that nigga was hey, that nigga was <laughs> <laughs> He called uh, me. I, I, saw, I was like, "Yo, oh, man, turn up." So I can see. So <laughs> I was, I was fried, was bro. I, but where was that? We was at Five Bistro. Yeah, yeah. And we were supposed to be that's over here at like, we, at like that's 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 Oh, that I remember that day. That remember, was I called this nigga deep ass. I was in the car. I said, "Deep ass." That nigga was leaning on the little thing, like, "Yeah, bro, I'm yeah, fucked." Hey, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I gonna said, make it. Ain't gonna make it up here. Not all the way here. He said, "Send me the address. How far that bitch is." 
Oh, no, I ain't. Nah, <laughs> baby. It's not looking good, that baby. Slap, bro. I was turned. Yeah, bro. When I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, I see this nigga. He be turned yeah, up bro. for real. Yeah, I, I be getting lit. That's one thing about yeah, He ain't, ain't always that chill poetry shit, mm. dog. He, I knew he was lit, though. I knew he <laughs> nah, we be getting yeah, right, we, bro. We keep the Yeah, we, yeah. We, <laughs> hey, we, I be, hey, I peep it. I peep the scenes. Yeah, that's one thing about shit. Like, we, we be turning up, bro, but I like to, um, I get the poetry of space, and but like, shit, that ain't. And then I'll say, uh, at the end of the day, I'm Chris Toddy. I'm you Toddy. Still, you know what you I'm still, saying? You like, a well rounded yeah, human being. Yeah, shit. You got you to gotta yeah. be able to like kick loose, bro, because like that creativity and all, and all like things can really drag you down. That's why you see some artists like are so into their solitude, bro. And I'm like, shit, I do like my solitude, but I also love to be around my people and celebrate. Mm-hmm. And, like, the connection you know what I'm saying? Energy, but that energy I think, I do. think, like I create, when I create, bro, I, it be coming from my real life experience and shit. Mm. <clears throat> so just like me sometimes reflecting on shit or even shit that I'm going through. But I only go through or come up with it like the more I interact. So if we pop mm. out for four weekends in a row, I'm going to for sure have some shit to write about. Real talk. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That life rap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't just be sitting there. We need to go on a vacation, hit, bro. Music, we need to go, need bro. To go somewhere, bro. You gonna focus this nigga music, bro. I promise you. Yeah, 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 if can, you like the type of shit, yeah, yeah. Bro, you gonna, you already, he already, he already validated it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he already validated it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, I really, I really love that particular aspect. You know how people uh, uh, could go into space like like life rap and stuff like that. It it creates like a different, you know, feeling like type when you listen to it like that. I just recently went to Black on the Block. Shout out to the Russell man. Uh, hey, I met him and everything. Balls. Like he was, he was just going crazy. Yeah, that nigga can rap for real. I'm really mad. Twin right. wasn't right there with him because I was talking his ear off or something like that because I got a homeboy <laughs> to do poetry. But you know, that's neither he here or there. But he, way he was rap, I was like, dang, this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't heard it like this or yeah. something like that because that was really my first time meeting him and actually like just really just tuning into his music. Right. It made me appreciate like. Hey, people are really out there can Talk like shit. be spitting like that, you yeah. know? It's not it wasn't about no killing or something nah, like that. His thing, stuff man. was just going crazy. Yeah. Like, what and, is this? And not to not to get know. personal with you, mm-hmm. bro, but when when I was telling I had a conversation with season earlier and I was like, Yeah, bro <laughs> took a little step back. But then when I said that, it was like I got hit with visions, bro. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I was reflecting on what made you like pause a little bit and it was like the the timing. Mm-hmm. Life was going on for you, and yeah, it was like it's crazy as you say. I had that same thought today too. Uh, you exactly know what what you're so saying. life was going on for you. So I was like, I didn't understand why you wasn't writing. I was like, bro, mm-hmm. what the fuck? So I, because I'm not oh, a writer, I'm not a creator. I wasn't even thinking about that either. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that that's what made me like, all right, like, life like, is going on, and we was, wasn't. We, was. And at first we was outside, and then you took a pause because yeah. nigga said, you know what I'm saying, I had to get shit right. So it was like, I'm not writing. Then when you said, if I'm out, ooh, 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 now I'm right. And then I was like, damn, we start getting in contact with. the with Josh and the bistro and, and mm-hmm. fucking the garden. Now we outside and he was like, now that pen going. Mm. But this nigga, this nigga D Bass is a beast, bro. But he like, cold though. Okay. No, I'm not saying this. And I'm not saying this because my cousin. I'm not saying this because my. Bro, but and I probably said this on the on the camera before. But listen, nigga, I called this nigga when this first <clears> album <throat> dropped, bro. <clears throat> I called this nigga at five in the morning, five something in the morning, bro. Like, right. and thinking this regular because I'm always up at this time. Right. I'm thinking this regular, like, yo. I'm wired like it's you lit, early. yeah, you lit. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, lit. This shit quick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 You know how that nigga talk. He said, "Call me back." I'm gonna do that. Call me back. I'm gonna do that. Congratulations, you regular. No, the I'm nigga stayed up. Yeah. I, I, I had to realize. Yeah, yeah. I had to realize that it was two hours. Oh shit, my bad. Fuck. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Call me back. I'm gonna call you back later. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga stayed on the phone. Let me get my shit up. I'm like, bro, how the fuck? This is my life. Yeah, you you know, man, you play self centered, bro. bro first. Oh, that's my life, and I was like, "Damn, how you talking to me like this?" You got some mm. of the hardest shit I done heard, bro. As far as like rap goes, bro. And I know you not from Dallas, but like just like shit, being in the D, you know what I'm saying? Like you represent the D to me, you know what I'm type saying? Shit, like shit. being an artist that's representing Dallas, bro. Like you one of the hardest that is out, bro. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't you, like T Y E or fucking like Jason's lyric or like you know what I'm saying, bro. Mm. Like that's the nigga I be playing. You, nigga, nigga, that nigga cold. Jason Lyric. Shout out to bro. Jason Lyric. That's I never. Bro, hey, this nigga is it, cold. It's a buzz, bro. But Dallas has a wealth of artists, bro, that are waiting to be discovered. That nigga don't even sound like he from bro. the D neither. Bro, no, he, he got a crazy sound. But, he, but he's such a um, 
I don't want to say we. This your homie? He, he, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, I, I don't. Like you said, I, we've, we've crossed paths a few times, okay. you know what I'm saying? But we run in similar circles. I know a lot of people that work with him, you know, shout out uh, to KG from Cosign, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The founder of uh, Cosign Dallas is an independently owned magazine. So I think uh, he uh, he's a part of his management team, you okay, know what I'm saying? Okay, so okay. I rock with a lot of people he rock with. And uh, man, well, just seeing like the, the work that he put in and like, the things that he got going no, on, bro, real. like mm. it's, he, he's doing it the right way. Now, he, know, he doesn't get the love he deserves from Dallas just because. People feel like that nigga is weird or standoffish or his music doesn't represent Dallas, but he's he sees past. But he makes hits here. though. He not making Bangers. Dallas. He not making Texas Bangers. hits. He not making Dallas hits. He Bangers. making songs that's like I could play this in Cali, in New Jersey, in Colorado, mm-hmm. in New York. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In Florida, Chicago, to which, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. That, and I played it for these, and I'm like, hey, bro, this nigga hard. Yeah, we was going somewhere. That nigga turned that shit on. I'm like, who the fuck is this? You know, this mm-hmm. nigga, I don't know. Mm-hmm. This, this nigga tough. Going, I'm like, going this crazy. nigga from Dallas, bro. He it's crazy, crazy, bro. Like, And I got put on to him just because I seen him on Say Cheese. Like, I seen a snippet mm-hmm. of the uh, look. Mm-hmm. Who the yep. fuck is this? But shout out Sean, Sean Cotton, and uh, Rahi Ballantyne, bro. Like two really good dudes that are from Dallas, or from the Arlington area, should I say? Mm. But DFW, and they put on, bro. You know, Raheem Ballantyne is like a close friend. They who know. run say cheese. Yeah, yeah, he runs say cheese, and they just started a uh, a record label, ninety nine overall. Oh, you know the say cheese is out of Dallas. Yeah, say yeah, say cheese yeah. from Arlington, Texas, bro. Oh, yeah, Sean that. Connors from the ad, bro. I, I, today, <laughs> I was today years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was today years old. And I'm thinking that up. shit from Atlanta they're, or LA. They run that shit out of Arlington, Texas. You dig? You know what I'm saying? And he not hard to find. Rahi not hard. Rahi Ballantyne is not hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they have a a, um, a label that they just started 99 overall in Dallas, like downtown. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like, That's lit. Got, it's, it's a lot happening out here, bro. Like, it's an elitist. Uh, section of Dallas where it's a lot of artists like you say you run into the same people but like once you start running into them though you know what I'm saying you'll know like what the, what, what the fuck is cracking mm-hmm. up like, get in that circle yeah bro real talk and, just, it's, and, that, and just, it's happening you just unlock something for niggas you ain't even know come no, on bro. Bro. Oh, my yeah. <laughs> oh, really? hey. Hey. You get in that circle door. you good you just opened a uh, couple uh, doors like know, oh, damn we gonna talk about this we gonna we gonna wrap up the whole we gonna get everybody connected no cap Okay. I never even thought. I never even thought about like where where they was, but niggas is out here. I bro. thought they was L.A. Even, I ain't even like Dallas no Global, Bullshit Terry Blue. You know, y'all what did saying? see that though. Yeah, yeah. that's one of my good buddies. But I call Terry right now, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying he like and he run Dallas Global. And he run Dallas Global TV, bro. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my good buddies, bro. Like me and him actually chop it up on like a regular basis and shit, bro. So that's like, crazy. yeah, fam. Like it's a lot of heavy hitters who are shaking and moving in Dallas, bro. And niggas just got to be connected, fam. That's to know all it who is. it is. That's all the connected. We fuck around, bro. probably seeing these people and didn't even know. Didn't bro, even seeing know all who about, it bro. is. They be, be folks that be out, bro. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. just got to walk. Even twin, we and twin walk out. We will walk up to people and people or people walk up to us and like, nigga, we know y'all, y'all twins. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then they'll be like telling us all the shit that we do, and then they'll be somebody big time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even like our folks from IMG and shit, bro. We do. We just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just being an entity, mm-hmm. bro. You'd be surprised who you run into, fam. Like Dallas, <laughs> Dallas has a who's who, but it's also like it's the gatekeeping shit too. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's probably that's gotta always break, bro. what it is. Bro. Mm-hmm. It's like we gotta break that chain, cause nigga, one, like you said, if you break that chain, then everybody eats. Everybody yeah. get that funnel. The, the yep. Atlanta, the LA, we'll the talk, New York, dude. the Chicago. Everybody we'll gonna talk. get that Listen, paper. He just after he said that to me, nigga. My brain is yours. I ain't been churning. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, yeah, it was yeah. really we hey, we gotta start. Hey boy, yeah, checking the moving. Like we him. need Terry on the show. Shout out to Dazza Global. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. We, we, we gonna make, we gonna make it happen. Yeah, we gonna hey. we gonna get Terry Blue on the show, bro. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna call my boy. No cap. Yeah, okay. I never would have thought. Like I moved here. Part of the reason why I moved here was because I felt like shit was going on down here. But you saying that and then just knowing, even knowing you, oh, well. it's a lot of shit. Going on. It's a lot of shit going it's on. A it's, 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 it's a lot of shit going on. It's a lot of that Dallas, going Dallas on. Is next crazy, move, bro, for bro. real, bro. That ain't that, that is yeah, bro. crazy. But bro. but we're we're in a black renaissance, bro. I mean, there's so much creativity in films, like movies being made out here. Tubi movies, bro. Like yeah. actors, models, bro. Yeah, yeah like, see that I know. I know about that stuff. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's a lot going on out here, bro. And like I said, it's just being connected, fam. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So shit, like I said, just. Don't be afraid to reach out. And this goes to any any artist, bro. Don't be afraid to reach out. I 
got connected to Akeem Ali because I spammed this nigga's DM. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, so I would send him all my poems. I would send him myself listening to his music and shit. He came to Dallas. I found where he was at. Got him a copy of my book. Got him a T-shirt. He gonna be on my. He gonna be on my poetry album. You know, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Mm. Crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. So bro. like, yeah, just, just, that's consistency it, 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 and persistence. Per, like persistence. a motherfucker, but no, hard work and dedication. Went to school mm-hmm. with, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, the homie Naj, my homie Naj, you went to school with, bro. Real shit, bro. Like I said, fam, all it is is just oh, is hustling and grinding, bro. Yeah. Putting your name out there. Because people going, you keep knocking on niggas' door, eventually they're going to be like, hey, what you selling? As long as what you selling has some quality, has some validity to it, has some value, bro. Like, they people going to buy that shit, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think he do be going, he do got a poetry ass vibe to him. Nah, he, and he's a fucking, bro. That nigga is dope as fuck, bro. Like, oh, yeah, I'm already, yeah, Cool yeah. in a bitch, bro. I met him in person, bro. One of the most humble cats, like, say, from Jackson. So, like, Niggas from the, it's a lot of people from Mississippi moving out here, bro, and just seeing like cats from like just seeing how humble he was and seeing he signed a Lou Will and like he got stuff going on in Atlanta and here and there and like cool as a fan, bro. Like I got his brother number, bro. Like he Will signed like signed his book and stuff. Like he hit me up, I DM and he be like, what's up? Like he ain't no Hollywood nigga, bro. Like a lot of cats are looking to like try and uplift people, bro. We gotta just be willing to reach out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna over talk though, but I just want to just make sure I ain't nah, you get the gems, right, my nigga. Mm-hmm. You get the gems. You, you, you're not keeping the code. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You telling them what you did to get you the, the connections that you got. And Real it's talk. like niggas need to hear it. Niggas, something, some niggas, especially us, niggas will get too too prideful and be like, man, I ain't hitting a nigga up. I ain't doing that. You know nigga, what I'm saying? I will fucking like, will blow your line up like a baddie. <laughs> uh, yeah, hear me. Yeah, pause. Yeah, I will blow your mind. Yeah, like yeah, yeah check out, check out this poetry, That's nigga. Right. Check out this show, nigga. Hey, hey, pull up. I got a book for you, nigga. I got t-shirts, nigga. Like, Facts. check us out. But oh, oh, I just did this. I don't know if you seen this. Like, I'm shot like everybody, bro. Cause like people need this, bro. When I see Mama Badu, like shit, I'm gonna be like, check your DMs. It's bro. crazy. You have over 200 y'all, DMs from me, like, bro. How Wait, y'all you, respect, you really? respect, and I understand. But y'all make sure y'all put that respect on Erica Badu name down there. Come on, bro. Why, why, why would I not, bro? No, That's would, a fine black woman, too. That is a, that mm-hmm. is the, that is the essence and the foundation of what it is, you know what I'm saying, to be eccentric, bro, Like Facts. and to be tapped into self and universe and knowledge, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, she a doula, bro. She she do a lot of different things. I don't know her personally. I'm, I'm we're, we're like one degree away, bro. I was like three or four places where like she had just left 10 minutes before you know you feel me so like Mm -hmm. yeah come on bro yeah so yeah so it's we we right there you almost yeah for real i'm damn near there but she the essence of the black woman bro for real like i know they say a lot of niggas who used to deal with her are cursed or niggas be everybody making difference but like they always say we love her we it's it's the love love bro that's what she represent that's what she pouring like and to represent dallas for her to be from dallas and have the have the the influence she has bro like if we don't show her her respect, but we doing a disservice. You know what I'm saying yeah, to culture and what it mean to be from the D. Real tough. That's real. You know, bro. That's real. Can I get a window to see I'm, I'm nobody named to me? Oh, it's straight up, so hard, bro. Straight up, straight up. But shit, I know we've been on this boy for a long time. I, before we get up out of here, I know I want to get a folks a piece, a glimpse of thing, heard nothing, thing, seen you before. If you up to it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna spit some slide real quick in like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's cool. Can, that's all start, we need. When can I start spitting? Whenever Go you ahead. want to, it's your world. All right, this here, this here, this here, this here, blackmail, ego is an enormous encapsulated encrypted entanglement lost in the depths of my cerebral cortex. I've been told to stand 10 toes down, steadfast, and keep my word as a gospel. You know, they say God was a man. No, he created man and his image forged in dirt and stone for you must be hard, boy. At least that's what they tell us. Spiritual genocide. Manipulated cerebellum, my masculine overtone challenges objective paradigms bestowed to an unlikely hero. A black father tells his son this world don't love you, boy. You must stand ten toes down. Steadfast and keep your word as if gospel twice to work for less to worth. Governed arithmetic deemed you three-fifths all the while. Father too macho to remain savage or monogamous or present. This here black male ego be selfish, a a delicate silver lining rippled in the fabrics of time, foundation laid through the sins of our forefathers. Hoarders of hatred, a who's who's up a hoovers, I'm asking you what does it mean to be masculine or toxic or black? Me simply grateful for life, 
tiptoeing my way through society. I have PTSD, Emmett Till syndrome. I can't whistle nor snap nor tap nor wink. And you ask me, what does it mean to be black or a man or both? There's a delicate silver lining between, between faith and chaos. I pray one day I can tell the difference. Poem. Mm. We got it. I wish I could be celebrity like that. I man. wish no, I could be a fucking celebrity. Like I wish I could <laughs> talk like that. What you, what you call that? What's that? What's the? What's the that name poem's of? called Ego. So ego. um, I, 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 I just wrote that. I wrote yeah, that to, yeah. to the black male ego of just all ten niggas. Of, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I knew he yeah. was my nigga when we dropped on the same day. <laughs> Corey sent me the picture. That nigga sent the video. He had me and Caesar on the thing. I'm yeah, cool as fuck too. Yeah, yeah no cap. Listen, it's my dog. Man. It's my dog, bro. Same but I can't thank y'all enough for having. But I'm very, very, truly thankful for this experience, the fellowship, the camaraderie, by the laughs. But this is something like this is uh, this is important to me for real. For you I'm know, very the, thankful the, for y'all. The feeling y'all. is mutual. For sure. The feeling is mutual. mutual. And it was, and they go back to with me and Cuz from a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? From when we first met you, it was just the energy that you gave us when he, well, and I always say, uh, I, I'm going to talk for my, I always got to say for us, me. Yeah, y'all, from us, my point of collective, view, you know yeah, saying? yeah. Mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. seeing the energy that you gave my family, when he hopped off the stage, I was like, oh, he really fucking with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This nigga dope, and then bro. I'm fucking with your shit. I'm like, damn, <laughs> let's fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, let's, let's do oh. some shit. And then the energy was just like, I ain't even had to connect y'all to because y'all was already like, so I'm always on some like yeah, I'm always peeping the scene, bro. Board, mm-hmm. I hit him, I hit him up. I said, hey, hey, we need to fuck with Black Sea. Hey, we need to get him on something. Like, we need to yep. this nigga to be on the album or something. Still, like, I, still, I, still, I, still, I was on that shit tough and I'm still on that to right now. Until we get you on the album. Until we get you on the album, no cap. Until we get you on the album, I'm saying it, bro. Like, cause your yeah. shit is fire, bro. Even like that shit you spit. I'm over here. It's probably gonna see the camera. I'm with twitching this shit, tapping my head, cause I'm like, damn, this nigga's talking about some crazy shit. I'm here, I'm feeling my words. Like, damn. This shit is crazy, bro. Like and you do that shit, no hey, I, I, hey. Yeah, you is yeah, Thank you, bro. You wild, you, you cold out here, bro. Thank you, fam. Shout out all the stuff that you got again, where people yeah, can find yeah. the books, Please, the man, album. So, um, where your book at? Where your album Best at? Thing. Where your poetry at? What's your Instagram? We need everything. Love, 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 man. So it's Black Caesar Poetry, man. You can follow me on Black Caesar, Black C-E-A-S-A-R underscore. Um, Black Caesar Poetry on YouTube. All my books are on Amazon. Uh, My first book, Lend Me Your Ears. My second book, As Tensions Rise. Uh, Shout out to our event page, Spitfire Presents. We do poetry events. We uh, do live R&B. We have comedy events, man. We do a little bit of everything. I'm also a host. I teach poetry. So if you're looking, if you're an entity, if you're a school, if you're an organization, nonprofit looking to, mm-hmm. you know, garner some of these skills, I can pour into you and I'm just grateful. So y'all just hit me up. I'm not hard to find. Like I said, man, it's Black Caesar. Bless. Yo. Bless. Ja right. Clap it up, man. Clap it up, man. Shout out to Black hey, Caesar. Shout, Shout out to, to my Caesar. boy. Okay. Shout out to my nigga C. Craig. Yeah. Shout out to C. Craig. Shout out to my brother one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being on the pod with us. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twin yeah. hopped on the cast too. Hopped ready? Hey, hey, ready? Hey, hey, he said he's trying to hop on. He said, nigga, I, I wasn't ready, but shit. But shit, I'm ready. Hey, 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 go ahead, though. We on this hoe. Right in bold, my nigga. He had it, bro. That's the first thing nigga did. He said, yeah, let's go ahead and hop some shit off. I had a little something to say. Yeah, bro. Twin, stay ready, baby. Hey, hey, hey. My Grady say, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Come on, my baby. Mama, let's it. go. My granny used to say. Appreciate it. Definitely Come on, appreciate nice it. Love, I will my boy. say, uh, in the summertime, I plan to drop my uh, uh my clothing line and stuff like that. It'll be called True Ego. You know what I'm okay, saying? Pretty much a way of like to wear affirmations on a shirt. True Ego. You know what I'm saying? Shirt, clothes, or anything. Like, say, for instance, you know, even though, you know, depression is at an all time high, so I want to kind of put like a way you can put a shit on if you don't feel like saying it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So, like, I got something for the males and I got something for the females. So, just be looking out for hey, that. Hey, 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 tell them about the poetry collab, though. Tell them and about I the collab. I got a collab. You know, I hey, she do got poetry too, Loki. Oh, yeah, shout out to photographer, with, uh, bro. Right behind this, right behind this, Jones. Shout out to photographer, bro. Big Live in the building. We love that. Big Live. I also got a collaboration with Black Caesar here. You know what I'm saying? I have. Yeah. But to, I'll have a real poetic line So Real be looking poetic for Be looking out for that yeah. soon We got mm-hmm. two colors Females and males That is real poetic And we live yeah. in that shit yeah. Do, yeah. You have a, yeah. Do you have an IG? Tell me your IG bro Give me all your information uh, Right bro. now uh, My uh, personal IG is Well done Q Be well done Underscore Q-U-E And also uh, the uh, My apparel line would be True Egos Apparel 
Oh, you get, you it's all one word. Oh, one word. True ego prayer. Yeah, okay. right. true ego. Yes, spelled just like so just like it sounds. True ego. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. for sure. Y'all make sure y'all follow all of that. Make sure you follow Black Seas. Make yes, sure you sir, follow ski. my nigga C. Niggas got merch. Niggas got poetry. Niggas got yeah. albums. Niggas got books. Books. Yeah. So what? Niggas got Niggas clothes. Got commercials. Niggas got commercials. Mm-hmm. Niggas got commercials. Mm-hmm. Niggas what though? Man, we keep going. Niggas working in schools. Who he is teaching he? and shit. Who is this dude? Right here, bro. Everywhere and nowhere, B. Everywhere and nowhere. Ego clothing, baby. Yes, sir. Straight up. Yeah, Keep yeah, on hollering that until it's over sure. with. For real, for yeah, real. Sure. We sure. definitely appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Appreciate y'all. That's all y'all had today, bro.